You've no idea. Is this a party yeah. full of people with negative luck modifiers? Oh no! <laughs> Don't I'm worry. The, I also have a negative luck game. modifier. Cause I have a. No, no. <laughs> we'll all be crap. I have a I, mean, I have a habit of rolling ones far more than any number. Oh yeah, you want to know what's interesting? I am the worst at rolling, but the best at getting loot. So I am R and Jesus when it comes to loot, but when it comes to actually just doing anything, absolutely terrible. When it comes like, to having oh, a cool yeah. hey, can you come over here and open this chest? Because I know you'll get like sixteen purples out of it. Good. That was basically me and a. I mean, that currently is me and a group of friends playing through Borderlands 2. It's like, hey, can you come open this chest? Because you're going to get, like, six E-Tech guns for no reason, because fuck I you. I have a friend Man. exactly like that. In Borderlands 2, every time he gambles, he gets something. And he gambles so much and so efficiently that he imp can infinitely gamble on the slot machines because it just keeps getting his money back. And it pisses <laughs> him off. Yep, that's so... basically... I'm not quite there yet, but I'm like that with chests. It's like... We literally start the game, first chest we open. Hey, there's an E-Tech pistol in here, do you want it? Monk, you must destroy Blizzard's economy. Oh my god, I don't play Blizzard games, have you an idea how much I would destroy them? I could ruin their company single-handedly. <laughs> right, I'm gonna play the loudest sound effect I have. Like... Ah! <laughs> my ears! Oh man. It's like, like, opens one loot box, get 20 skins somehow. I was gonna say. How does this even work? There's not enough room on the screen for them. Loot boxes, more like monk boxes, am I right? Am I right or am I right? Whoa, well, I don't actually. With roll 20, I don't actually roll bad. I just roll pure. Like, you think most rolls are, you know, you're, it's always gonna be weighted to one side. No, I purely roll randomly. I'll roll like 15, 2, 8. Eight. Do we all want to do like a luck yeah. check really quick and waste the twenties we'll get? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> luck check. <laughs> yep. Uh, mm. All right. All right. All right. I I tried playing blackjack and failed. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Struck out immediately. Oh hey, look. A number. A number. That's a real number. Oh my god. Oh, a nine. Dude, I didn't know you were so lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna enable 3 nice. That's 44 luck. Nice. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> well, what, what a good way to start. Oh, what, what? oh Drake. <laughs> Mission fail, we'll get him next time. Now let's roll with 3D dice enabled. <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting worse. Alright, well, it seems I have the highest <laughs> luck stat. Next to our GM. I rolled an 18 on my first roll. <laughs> you also rolled a 3, 1, and a 6. Yes. <laughs> Ignore that. I yeah, I, mean, I have to say, What's well... What's important is waiting for roll 20 to decide whether or not you've offended it. <laughs> yeah. Because... I... In my experience, luck with roll 20 is on a per campaign basis. Yeah. Yeah. In, in my experience, roll 20 is sentient. I'm just getting yeah. worse! <laughs> getting, oh my god, you've gone down one every time you roll. Here we go. Roll the marbles. I swear to god, if it's a six. Oh, I'm back up now. Uh, all of your rolls are just gonna be like from like 10 to like 7. Just the entire campaign. <laughs> so, so you're not exactly doing good, but you're not doing any harm either. <laughs> Hey, Monk. wait a second, those are eight of my rolls. <laughs> Monk, if you're just gonna be in low roll limbo, it's gonna be a not good time. <laughs> just roll exclusively fives. The number that is bad enough that it has no neg- that you can't achieve anything with it, but good enough that there's no negative repercussions. <laughs> you just do nothing. <laughs> just exist during the whole campaign. We just play with the house rule where if we roll a one, it the, the move oh. just attacks- Teammate, because that's like my favorite thing. Oh, yes. I, I, I flavor critical fail, fails and critical successes will usually get extra effects. Yes. That just makes like sense. That's like my favorite thing to do in D&D &D is like, <laughs> you get a crit fail, that arrow just hits an ally. <laughs> oh, indigo? Indigo? Yep. Now, all of my natural 20s are going to be on my passive. I'm just going to tell you that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Suck. 
see if I can get fail with blackjack again. Here we go. How, how do I play? I'll draw a oh. card. Question on my passive. Oh, are we playing blackjack? Um. Oh, uh, yeah. I went too high. Damn it. Should have stayed. Wait, what was the question? Poisons. Alcohol, correct? Am I winning? Or am I doing it right? Um. I mean, do you know how to play blackjack? That should be question number one. Oh, what's well, blackjack? Uh, <laughs> well, I think that's your first problem. <laughs> yeah, problem number one. You don't know how to play blackjack. You don't need that. You don't use that in blackjack here. Mm. Go no, again, you can't have two. my two. That's my two. I can't have your cards. I'm gonna one hit. One. No, stop well, stealing I my cards. Go away. Gonna hit. <gasps> I'm staying. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop. <laughs> okay, sorry. I had to take a second to reread your, your passive. Uh, what was the question? One last time. Does it work on um, alcohol? Wait. Probably? I'm definitely staying. <laughs> Ooh, gonna wanna risk it for the biscuit. Win. Yeah, you could pop, you could conceivably use it. What do okay. you guys have? Ooh, I, 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 I don't know if I wanna risk it. I don't know about you guys, I got a pretty good hand. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna stay. I'm staying as well. Alright. Gotten, I guess we reveal, I got an 18. I don't know. <laughs> Dang it. Hey, at least it's my color. I get all the schmooples. <laughs> you get all the now. scrobbles. <laughs> all the chims. You get all the discount Scrabble board games. I'm Scrabble not stealing my cards. Oh, <laughs> yeah. One. You rolled a one. I did indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you are a one. Are we are we ready to begin soon? Uh yes. Can everybody I, I'm ready? I'm presently ready. I just I played the last the song in. Just look at my name for one second. What is the pun? You already told me, so I can't answer. I want everybody else to figure it out. I I, I the read pun? the chat. <laughs> I know oh, well. the pun. I it's don't get the pun. It's amazing. So it's I'll funny. be lying. Right? It's funny. <laughs> to me, it's just hilarious. I'll be. No, stop. Up with this. I will. Alright. I'm gonna oh, no. drag us over. He's ascending. <laughs> I've become a god. <laughs> I've grown legs and arms. <laughs> This is what it means to go even further beyond. <laughs> this is Ultra Instinct. <laughs> you have no idea. I think I, I, in in one of the campaigns that I ran privately, we had the best joke in anime campaign where I, we had like a 3D. So you know they were standing upright like on the floor, and one of and one of my <laughs> PCs just goes, "Why aren't you staring at the ceiling like the rest of us?" <laughs> <laughs> and we all lost it, took like a 10 minute break to acknowledge the fact that that's the best joke in all of anime campaign. I sure wish my younger siblings would shut up. I mean, you could always kill them. I was about to say that. <laughs> oh man. Murder is always an option. Alright, let's drag us over. <gasps> oh, I like this. Uh, it's Pokemon game. Did we pick our this. starters? This is a problem. Barbie, can you shift ping us? I don't know where we are. We're not on the map. Well, you're not all here yet. Ah! Where am I supposed to be looking? Oh boy. The oh, GM this... layer sure is a lovely thing. Um, <laughs> is it cutscene so, time? Out of out of a house emerges one of the players. Oh hey, it's me. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's a lovely morning. <laughs> well, today's another lovely day in your favorite place in the world to be perpetually stuck in Amity Town. 
Yep, just another day in this place. Better For just... Fortunately, your house is literally right next to the town center. Which is where you have to go on a daily basis, should you wish to do the trials. Well, another day, another challenge to the local trial. Be sure to pick up your starter Pokemon and plenty of health potions. You'll need them. Um, you can see outside the town hall, you can see a couple people you recognize. I assume this is Brawn. Yes, the, the, the giant man is Brawn. Do you not then... recognize generic human over here? Ah, uh, yes, that's Jim. No, John. it's Gene Eric, obviously. <laughs> Gene Eric is a character in all of my campaigns, I'm sorry. His name is Jim, you cannot fo ch force him to change his name. Yeah, it's Jim in the infinite tuplets. <laughs> They're infinite tuplets. Their mother's epithet was infinite. <laughs> you can tell oh. how well that worked out. Their oh, mother's no. Well, children. you see, as a protagonist, you simply just don't have the capacity to remember minor characters of no importance. <laughs> you literally just blur out their, f their their faces. I watched a show like that once. It was That's pretty, pretty good. unsettling now that I think about it. And then also you notice, leaning on the front wall of the town hall, like a jerk, your greatest enemy. <laughs> Gale spits on the ground. <laughs> Why, hello there, Siegfried. Just call me Sig. Why do you? Why are the, you the only one that insists on saying my full name? Because you're worth it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walks away from him. The sparks of an old flame, a forgotten love. I can smell the sexual tension. <laughs> sexual tension is so tight you can cut her with a knife. I don't know why I feel like I need to punch someone. <laughs> <laughs> Sudden urge for violence. Ah, punching, a natural feeling, young lad. Yes, the feeling of punch, I know it well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you have happy, sad, angry, punch. <laughs> well, Braun, ready for round 57, I think? Ah, uh, 57, of course. Arm wrestling again. Why is it always arm wrestling? <laughs> he goes into the center of the ground and just sort of punches the ground, causing a bit of earth to rise up and form a basically like a table for you to arm wrestle atop of. You know, for a brief moment, I thought you were going to say, Ah, oh, connect four again. <laughs> connect four memes? The manliest of sports. No, that would be Magic the Gathering is the most testosterone sport. So you can roll to arm wrestle, Braun. Alright. Today's the day, Braun. I'm going to win and get out of this crummy town. That one. That's a spirit, lad. Rolls to arm wrestle. That's about right. <laughs> That's perfectly average. I see you've been training. <laughs> God damn it. This is like end of arc. <laughs> Flies <laughs> into this house. <laughs> like uh, yes, Superman I was using my arm left hand. Some kid. Not even my strongest arm. He, like, picks you up like a sack of potatoes. <coughs> God damn it, Bron. Every time with you. Don't worry. Surely you've been getting stronger. I you thought... moved me like a millimeter that time. Well, that's good. Hmm. I need to see a medic. <laughs> that's not important now. Come, I have something to show you. Alright, where where are we going? Oh, Into okay. the town hall, to a place you have never seen before. I've lived here for 18 years, how have I not seen something? Ah, 
because it is behind a door. Oh shit, a door. <laughs> I forgot to use one of those. <laughs> I've played many TTRPGs. Doors are impossible obstacles. I need to get 15 or higher to open a door. Like, this whole time, he, that's not actually his house. He's just been stuck inside. He couldn't open the door. <laughs> no. The windows are smaller doors. <laughs> yeah. You can't escape. And you enter into the town hall. Man, Follow it's the me, town lad. Hall. How have you never been? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> this... You've been in this part. Follow me, lad. Behind this door. I understand. Oh. You, you're very dead set on leaving this town. But the outside world can be a dangerous place, and I have some proof of that. Mm, proof, huh? I'm gonna move you up real quick. Because I tried to put everything on two. One thing. This... Just ping me when you get there. <laughs> this is real, guys. <laughs> Alright. You see, this is where we keep those trespassers who come to our town. All right. They're dangerous individuals, the lot of them. How dangerous could they be? Very. What? Wait, wait, what? Oh, you're a pirate. Wait. How's that like? Yeah. Oh, oh, is that guy just a gel? What is that? <laughs> Points at yes, Captain of the Seas. If it was more uh, recognizable, I would have considered that racism, but looking in a mirror, I understand your point. I've read books about ocean race. Is that. I don't think they're no, supposed to look I'm, like that. I'm... <laughs> What's gonna... an ocean? <laughs> I'm gonna take that into the racism box for later. Also, so basically, there's some sort of invisible barrier preventing you from leaving your room. Your rooms. Um, all three of you were basically, for various reasons, you ended up here. <laughs> and were, pro were all promptly, basically tackled to the ground by Braun, and then dragged to the, j to the prison. <laughs> You big guy. Shouldn't you try out some, some of the corn? I think it's my tasty. The corn, you say? Yes. Hmm. Well, we do have some corn we grow. Yeah. But we mainly subside on fishing in the nearby lake. <laughs> Never mind. I hear it's pretty good. Oh you, oh, you look fairly normal, at least. Rally currently has his back torn towards you, and he's extending his palm towards the wall for no apparent reason. But looks can be deceiving. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see, clearly these are all very dangerous people. I mean, l look at them. How dangerous? Look at them. Uh, the snare is basically a jellyfish for a head. Like... Jellyfish for a body, too. Kids Thank always you. want to hug pirates. I've never Why wanted to hug a pirate in my so, life, oh yeah, Bron. He's a pirate. Yes, I doubt you couldn't figure that out already. But yes. Dangerous. Just holding up a syringe and tapping. Why does he have needles? Braun, why does he have needles? That, that no one could take safe. them from him. It's quite peculiar. Or rather, every time we took some from him, he had more. 
Eventually, we were forced to give up. There's like a massive pile of needles in the other room. I mean, at least we're stocked, right? Oh. I wouldn't inject I any love of your needles optimism. into your arm. Just to be safe. You don't know what drugs he could be peddling. That's a fair point. <laughs> he, he walks away. So, so Bron, why, why are you showing me these people? To let you see the dangers of the outside world is what I wish was the only reason I could give you. All right, Unfortunately, what's, what's the other reason? Unfortunately, I One second. Oh. I haven't seen the sun in 43 days. He's probably been in there for a, maybe a week. <laughs> yeah. Un unfortunately, we don't believe in detaining people from the longest time. I haven't seen the sun. <laughs> yes. We've only been able to keep them for about a week, and then we have to let them back out. But the fact of the matter is, they have the same criteria to leave the village as you do. Because we can't let outsiders who haven't proven themselves leave the village and potentially spread dangerous information. All right. And you know, you can attempt the trials with them. Because, unfortunately, lad, your training has clearly not been enough for you to do this alone. Alright, that's fair. I got a team now, bitchin'. Captain I shall be waiting. Whispers. Boom, bitch. I shall be waiting for the ultimate challenge. Arm wrestling. And he exits. Um, at this oh, moment, Bron, Rally, never change. Rally is going to place his hands against the southern wall of his cell in an attempt to phase through it. Oh no, he's going to try this again. <laughs> you sort of get about like halfway through, and like <laughs> your body's like half clipping through it. The wall on this side like starts to sweat. <laughs> um, <laughs> now you, you can just straight up take the chair. Uh, Soul can just take the chair. Oh, okay. But yeah, you just sort of clip it. It seems this wall is slightly thicker than one tile. <sighs> they... This is very unsettling. Walls aren't supposed to do that. <laughs> you see, like, the wall ripple for a brief moment, but then it all, like, quickly kind of implodes on itself and s yep. ceases. Man, you can you're... You, you all do hear, like, a barely audible click. And you get the feeling you can probably just exit your cells now. You're one weakness, half an inch of thickness. <laughs> <laughs> the thickness with like a C in in like four four size font. You have no Judge idea my way, Doctor how Man. often I hear that in my real life. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, perhaps now I could see the sun if I had eyes. Well, first things first. If we're gonna be, hold on. Uh, where was I? Uh, if we're gonna be working together, uh, hi, I'm sick. Thank you. Ah, ah. That's hilarious. This man is confusing me. I do not find that very funny. I find it hilarious. In the room, Elson. Look, there's Tina. It's a chair. We can walk over it. I feel like I should hurt you for making that reference. Right. Like, Captain Ulysses like tries to squeeze through the chair and then just topples over it. Crap. I just kind of guessed where the chair was and failed spectacularly. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh, you got your soul help to get up. Uh, that's, that's a weird arm. Hey, yeah. question. Question. I might have an answer. I might have an answer. I 
that, what was the exact thing that you were sick from? How was it did it exactly affect you? What's what? Question. <laughs> uh, never mind. I'll I'll do that later. This Jared, this dude. Mm. And one That'll be useful for later. Well, Sig, you may call me Captain Ulysses. I would offer to shake your hand, but you know, jellyfish rules. No, I'm kind of I'm ocean. perfectly fine not shaking your hand. You can shake my hook hand, though, and he has like this rubber pirate hook. Feel free to shake that. Ah. I imagine because it because it's uh, like a rubber pirate hook, it's one of those like, in order to actually support itself, it's just like com comedically large. Oh yeah, it's like made of plastic. It's very obvious that it's fake. And it's like, yeah, he wasn't holding that in his hand earlier. He just pulled that out of his pocket. And they let me keep the needles mostly because they couldn't find any. They couldn't find how I was making more. Was I making more? Who knows? I don't really know. Oh, that's how I was doing it. <laughs> Vaughn in the far distance is like, we really need to implement a full cavity search. But that would help you! Glad they didn't have that when I was arrested. They would have had a very bad time. They didn't have cavities. Just... I mean, there are gaps between tentacles and tendrils. Yeah, I think he's nothing have, like... but cavity. I mean, your yeah, deal. I guess. <laughs> but what's your deal, Ab? That's not him. Tentacle guy. Yeah, what's your deal? Yeah, I, I, I look up the hall to the ominous child. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's he been staring at you, the group of you, this entire time, and he seems like it doesn't want to touch you guys. <laughs> He's it's just a fair. patiently <laughs> waiting for you to walk past so he can move. That's a fair assessment. This is a one-person hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, little kid. How are you? Please do not touch me. Next. Why not? Whispers to Sig. Do you want to just leave now, or? Yeah. Look like you've contained plague. Let's head on our way. I don't care. Wait, what are you talking about, Blake? Hmm. Hmm. This is really awkward at the end of the hallway. There's no one here. Oh, I think they're leaving. Gotta go. Bye! Oh. Oh. Ooh. It's good to actually be able to stretch my tentacles. That will never not disturb me. Well, you want to talk about disturbing? How do you think I brush my teeth? You have teeth? <laughs> exactly, that's my question. I don't even know where the teeth are. What even are you? How do you even know anything about your own body? I mean, it's very hard when I have no eyes and no real sense of touch. Are you some matter of rodent? Like, are you a functioning living creature? I mean, simple-minded, I guess. I don't know. I just never really thought about it that much. I mean, spending however long we spent in that cell really makes you think about who you are as a person. That didn't make me think about anything. That also doesn't surprise me. Much stuff, anyways. Mostly thinking about how much I don't want to eat the horn. Well, hey, before you all try to run off on your own, can I explain something real quick? Explain. Alright. Braun kind of ran off and left me to do this, so I'm, I'm just going to tell you how this town works. Uh, we're pretty secluded, and no one's actually really allowed to leave unless they can beat the trial captains. And I've been trying... And they're real strong. Trialing? What is it now? 58 attempts? Uh, You've been 
trial in? I ignore Dr. <laughs> Soul and look to the rest of the group. Captain <laughs> Ulysses shrugs and then does like a throat slitting motion. So yeah, anyway. If you want to get out of this town, you're, you're going to have to beat the trial captains. And Listen, it's probably best if we work as a team because they're really, they're tough. I agree with that. I don't have my seeing eye anything, so... I mean, I can still sense my environment, it's just... I have no eyes. What is a trial cap? Points to Braun. Braun, like, dramatically jumps up. It is I! Braun! One of the captains. Oh. Have you come to face me in my challenge? You'll never guess what it is. It's arm wrestling. I didn't even get a chance to say my guess. Neither did I. It was right behind me. What? Eggs and beetles. Okay. I feel like we should stop him. He's probably trying to sell drugs in that alley. I tell you, I don't do drugs. I don't do drug stuff. I mean, what? technically, whatever you're selling is a drug. See, look, Sig, these dangerous outsiders, they do drugs. <laughs> if, if Captain Ulysses could look, he would look <laughs> at Sig's cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure yeah, thing, Bron. You, you, you make some beetles. Right. Oh no, that's not drugs, that's just dangerous beetles. Totally fine. Yeah, that's definitely safe. And don't forget stamina costs. Yeah. Yeah, just, just like freehand draw something. That's roughly a tie, I guess. I mean, just draw like a scribble or like a mark of some kind. Make your mark. Uh, why are there two of them? Because I'm duplicating. Yeah, kill, them while, <laughs> kill them while we have them isolated. Uh, oh no, he's using <laughs> drugs. <laughs> Oh god. And change just update in the restaurant that, yeah. game, perhaps. The Beatles formed a second Dr. Soul. <laughs> update this one for the, uh... The Abyss is viewable now. Oh, the Abyss is a lovely place. I agree, strange I mean, child. No, so, so you've got some Beatles. That sure is just a black void. <laughs> oh, you see the black void too? Yes, it looks very homely. Uh, Make the spreading. It's going yeah. to consume. I don't like the looks of this. No. No. Can't consume me. Oh, hell no. What kind of beetles are they? Eh. Imagine just like... Oh. Yes, <laughs> that, that works. Bradley's gonna walk up and pick one up. Then he's gonna look at it, and he's gonna eat it. <laughs> Sig knocks it out of your hand. Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> no! Why am I so? Why am nice, I so nice tasty crunchy. to these bugs? Jellyfish. Oh. <laughs> yeah, jellyfish are a delicacy. I need to hide in the long grass. Oh, is that what he is? Little do we know, they're not beetles. They're just very small flying sea turtles. <laughs> yeah, very tiny sea turtle. Captain Ulysses is, crouch is crouched in this bush. Now that I think about it, doesn't he need water to live? You know, I ask myself that question every single day. Yes. Did, did you do notice a distinct lack of water? I do notice a distinct lack um, of water. 
When, when, when you move the beetles over to the captain, he just sort of waves his hand and there's just a little bit of a puff of air and they're gone. Oh, oh. Bullshit! Yeah, try. Gale's kind of the worst. Spits on the ground. He 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 finger guns you. Rally uh... follows your impression and also spits on the ground. Captain Ulysses does the opposite and finger guns back at Gale. <laughs> Rally also does that. A uh, like a uh, syringe or something out of nowhere and just sticks herself with it. That one sec. I forget. That doesn't look God. safe. I'm going to back up. Is he doing people. drugs? I don't trust you. Perfect. It's shit. Does it work? I think you failed to do <laughs> <Shit>. drugs, guys. <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is a problem. Yeah. No. You, you sure do stab yourself with a needle. <laughs> I get off on the pain. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I've already you know, had and, my and shots. You know, this, was your, this, this wasn't your um, this wasn't your antibiotics needle. This was your um, this is just one of your blood taking needles. <laughs> this is infestation needle. He's now Shino from Naruto. Any consolation, Doctor Soul? I've had my shots. Please don't stab me. What are in those? Yeah, this, this is just an infuse of antibiotics. What does it do? Hmm, things. Well, it is disconcerting. The like opposite, and things. biotic is life. So I think it just kills things. Let's move on. <laughs> Oh. I'm going to agree with Sig on this one. All right, Bron. Up on top of this, this rock. Five, <laughs> round 58. Ah, oh, Ulysses yes. does a cool pose behind Sig. 58? I see you. I see you brought the Outer Siders. Okay, who will be doing the wrestling? Me. Oh. Hey. Where's Helen coming to me? I'm not. I'm not too confident. One of you will wrestle, <laughs> and the rest may assist. I will try. He looks you all up and down. Okay, like, real, you're real quick. Team, that team, team fair. Huddle. Team Huddle. <laughs> team Huddle first. Rally looks over and is like, huh? Alright. I Get see our challenger boy. has appeared. <laughs> he grabs your arm and the get a table appears. Oh no, Braun took initiative. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Are we sure this kid's good to be alive? Because I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> you all, you all get to vocal initiatives. All of us. I'll call uh, the kids. Parents. Rally looks at this man very confused. For a <laughs> Solid moment. ten. Oh, here, let me roll mine. So average. Oh, I saw that yeah. twenty. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> Crit on initiative. <laughs> So you're just gonna be on my passive and not my taking initiative. It'd be hilarious. Uh, it'd be hilarious. I was gonna ask Ulysses if if he could arm wrestle and shock the captain. That's what my plan was, but then the kid stepped up. <laughs> He's too impressionable. <laughs> the young lad might make it after all. When, when does Ron go? Uh, he goes last. He his, his initiative is zero. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Roll descending. Or order descending, I should say. When OCD must fix this, must fix the turn order. A fine order. It's just going from least to greatest. Erg. I'm button. I like buttons. I don't know who arm wrestling is. Yeah, Braun takes arm wrestling very seriously. <laughs> he makes where the music is coming out of from. Stone. I have oh. a feeling these rocks are secretly speakers. Oh, wait, so initiative has started. Do 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 so, what are you going to try to do to help Vale win oh, in arm know. wrestling? You know exactly what I do. We do have to roll for this as well as them getting a save. Yes. That's dumb. 
fine. I will do this. It doesn't hit anybody. Oh, else. that's not disconcerting at all. Coughing cloud. Yeah, he's like. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'll, 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 I probably should have. Very good poison type Pokemon. Round, you may top. You may pass a tightly packed ball of microbes, which will explode in pain. He's a three by three area center. Don't worry, you throw it with a range of five. Uh, the target effects must save at start of the next turn for you. Uh, a more like by Uh, yeah. Three stun. Oh, I. I c Captain Ulysses. <laughs> oh, I, um, I guess I'll just walk over to him. I just he just pats Braun on the shoulder, uh, applying his passive, and just goes, "I hope you have a good game." I'm a uh, quite uh, fond of the sport myself. I, I guess to post what my passive does. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess woe to touch him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't really feel like I shouldn't need to, <laughs> but I might as well. I you mean, you can always roll a one. <laughs> I expertly touched him. Here's what my passive does, so we all know. Can you read like, it out loud? Oh, I knew I should have worn a shirt today. This makes me very uncomfortable but that this man is shirtless. Like, oh. in, b in between coughs. <laughs> oh, I see. You're chilling on my enemy. Encourage me to do better. Thank you. <laughs> yes, take three damage. <laughs> uh, fixed turn. <laughs> You're not cheating. Uh <clears throat> Don't you say you a said word. you could help. I mean, I did my best. This is really all I could do. I mean, I don't want to kill the kid by accident. Yeah, that's fair. All right, my turn. <laughs> All right, trust me. With how strong Brawn is, this isn't cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over here, and I'm gonna use my ability, Smoke Construct, and what I'm going to attempt to make is sort of like, you know, like a a a press. <laughs> Like a piston that'll yeah. push against his hand in the opposite direction. All right, that's gonna be pretty difficult because it's a lot of moving parts. But go for it. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I know perfectly average. That sure make... is an average roll. <laughs> you you make like a really like oh, simple like old fashioned one, but it's it, it's pressing up against his arm. He's like, oh, truly. Oz, my lad, you've not brought this one out before. Yeah, I, I kind of just made this one up on the spot. Aha, uh -huh. you're learning. Or, oh. Rayleigh oh, arm wrestle. Roll to oh. not die. I have a very quick question regarding how one of my abilities would interact with his hand. So, um. Chalk line. If I were to, like, is the rule to just, I guess, push his hand away from mine or slam it down or what? It's to put the it's to put the back of his hand on the table. Hmm. Yes. The, the the goal is basically so he is using his right hand and pressing your hand to your right essentially, and you are doing the same to him. The goal is to get it to be to hit the table. Hmm. Would I? And be yes, able you could probably. To Chuck line for it. Would I be able to make like the chuck line go um, vertically across the table so it would be hard, if not impossible, for him to push my hand back? Uh, yes, but it wouldn't last forever. I know. Okay. I think this that's what... would be a war of attrition. I think that's and you all also, by default, do need to just make a generic arm wrestling roll. Yeah, yeah. Um, Rally, brandishing his or brandishing his arms as glorious gold, reveals himself to have actually multiple arms on each side and he grips Braun's hand with a firm grasp and then twice on his forearm and he attempts to push his hand back Sig so, so how many arms are you using arms. for this? I mean, well 
Rally, Rally's interpretation of arm wrestling is just use your arms to wrestle. So he has all of his three left arms on him. I feel a strange kinship with this kid. What the yeah. hell are these well, so just, you know, so you're, you're trying to push his arm this way, and he's trying to push yours this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you push up against him. Now let's see what Bran does. Uh, <laughs> well, first he has to, well, first he has to make a save with strong. If he rolls badly, this just will suck for him. He's just die. It's okay, he has bonuses to strong. <laughs> oh dear. That's strong though, this is different. Hmm. That's not strong. Also, does he take the three ja damage from my passive or... <laughs> Yes, he did take it. Yay. He, I he hurt like, him. I he think like I can't. He coughs him. out the, uh, the microbes and is like, ah. Good thing I work on my cardio. Captain oh, Ulysses I, I, has the most confused look a mass of tentacles can muster. <laughs> Good thing my cells have tiny fists. Punch and out bacteria. Seems to just break down. <laughs> This is very And now strange. he's going to roll to arm wrestle. Ooh. Oh, that's not very good. You gain a lot of ground. His arm's at like... <gasps> nice. His arm's like at a steep angle to the one side. And he's like, oh, I see. So this is a power of teamwork. No, I just power think that's the power of, of a kid with three arms. So many yes. kids. Also oh, three arms. arms. Okay, uh, Dr. Saul. Okay, back there. Well, one, uh, three, four. He's just gonna go here and go, well, I'm allowed to assist. The chair that I took on his head. Uh, <laughs> roll for chair? <laughs> roll for WWE. Wait, did you take the chair back chair. or did you leave it in the doorway? I used my power on it, my passive. Wait, but no, but didn't you take the chair out? the chair out and then put it in the doorway, then took it again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just chair on his head, on top yeah, of it. He, he just gets smacked by the chair in the head and takes some damage. You just see a fist come out of the back of his head and break the chair. <laughs> it's like, this is very unsettling. And I'm a mass of tentacles. What does your passive do? I should read that off. Yeah. Um, I'll put in the the, the the roll 20 and read it off. I can just... yeah. You have access to extra-dimensional space which, let, which you may place objects or diseases into and out of. I put cube, uh, the place, once you place something in contact, or in the case of the poison, they're brought in place to have negative effects. Objects may be able to escape during combat. Uh, you might only have access to- Oh, shit! That's a move action. Eh, well, I guess, yeah, he doesn't take the damage, but you can take out the chair. You could've threw it at him. Ooh, I'm going to tag team this. Give me that chair. Here you go. I've seen this in bar oh, fights many times. You to take out a chair. <laughs> Please stab a chair. Roll for chair. So you just have hammer space. <laughs> he has a bag of holding. It'll basically just exponentially, hopefully, eventually just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And, yeah. Right. I guess I'll just roll to hit him in the head with a chair. <laughs> Let's WWE this shit. I saw this on TV once, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, no. I shouldn't have Unfortunately, tried. Unfortunately, you know, you, you haven't been outside in a while, what with all your time in prison, you're not feeling your best, and you just smack Rally in the head with a chair. Oh. <laughs> and he takes five damage. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm Negative sorry, kid. Um, I can really also, the chair, you literally before. break the chair over his head. <laughs> and you're just sort of left holding the legs. 
Uh, yeah, my muscles are suffering from atrophy. So, I mean, I don't think I have muscles, it's tentacles. What inspiration will lead me to victory? Uh, yeah, feed the pain, I guess. This is weird. Alright, well. I like to imagine my life is like, this. wow, you guys have a weird way of encouraging people. That's exactly how he is. Do not let me in with this. <laughs> uh, Dr. Soul, is your is your cloud still here? Is what still there? The the Dr. Soul cloud? Uh, no, it's... Um, no, it's... Yeah. Mm. Captain Ulysses demolished it. What a so... shame. Yes, I was afraid to be eaten alive, so I murdered. <laughs> mm. Let me think. What do, what do I got? Oh well. Sig just pulls out a crowbar. If this is how we're doing it. <laughs> yes, it is. Vaughn looks through and he's like, ah, finally, a challenge. <laughs> ah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I just ding him over the head with a crowbar. <laughs> I'll, I'll even give that six damage, because that was a decent draw. Just... Come on, Rayleigh, he's concussed. Do it. Ah, yes. <laughs> Rayleigh is also Ray. concussed, though. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. He has, like, a stream of blood running down from his forehead when he just doesn't seem to mind. It's all like his blood is all like black and viscous. Um, yeah. let's see. Okay. Let well, now that they're both concussed, I guess we made the game fair. <laughs> he shrugs. Yeah, I'd say it's a net zero. <laughs> we have done a grand total of nothing. Let's see. Rally is going to channel a bit of energy into his palms and attempt not really to deal damage but kind of use the force of it so it's like a tight area to kind of concuss or push him back oh I... a tiny bit okay me, me, me. roll a two <laughs> ah <exactly. laughs> why'd you say that you know you haven't you don't have experience channeling your basic attacks into arm wrestling this is the first time we were arm wrestled. So, uh, so you, you, uh, fire off a random blast. Um, roll me a, a d4. Oh no. Sure it's me. I'm pretty sure it just hits me. Ah, my You hit Sig. I'm gonna use my passive. <laughs> oh no, what's your passive? Uh, you watch as it shoots right through him. Ah, oh, smoker. Oh, not fast at any time. Uh, yeah, any time. Ooh, this reminds me of yeah, several he, characters he, he, like, with smoke-based smoke -based abilities. Yeah, you just see a, his, a small hole in his chest and then it closes. I'd like to think that instead of, like, hit the thing just flying out of his palm, Rally, like, purposely just points his hand at sick and shoots. It's like, here, negative encouragement. Well, what happens? It goes by saying he just hits Gale. It, 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 come, it comes out of the long palm. <laughs> Sig notices that it hit Gale and quietly just gives a, like a fist pump to himself. Like, hell yeah. Gale poops into wind for a second before returning and gives you a, a double thumbs up. God damn, I forgot he could do that too. <laughs> It is now Vaughn's turn, he's like, I see, it is time. Let me show you the power of Vaughn. Oh dear. Oh. This wasn't even my arm wrestling. No, it never occurred to me, but I oh, think Vaughn's epithet is Brawn. <laughs> ah, so you two both get knocked back, and now you're fighting giant Vaughn. Who's, ar he's like, <laughs> I'll make, have to make my arm three times as big. Our arms are now of equal mass. Oh, yeah. oh, also, well, I do give me just arm wrestle wall. This is oh, scary. Okay. This'll go well. Please don't fail. Please don't fail. Oh. Oh. It, 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 
balance is back out where you're now back at like the middle ground. Man, how is this kid doing so well against Braun? I think I need more inspiration. I mean, it would help. It helps that the press hasn't gone away, though it, it's become less useful now that Braun is three sizes larger. I mean, I guess they even out three times big, three times arm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely yes. fair. Uh, Doctor Soul. Doctor Soul. Do your syringes have anything to inspire me? Uh, actually, yes. Four, five, you... I'm very I know, worried by this man's syringes. Yes. yes. Uh, very loaded. I feel the inspiration. You, you go to <laughs> stab him in the arm? to like inject it, but suddenly you pause for a moment, there's, there, there's so many arms, which one do you stab? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> this is... Wait a sec, none of you have neurobiology! You're made of smoke, you're a jellyfish. Ca I Captain would have Lucy. stopped you, but it wasn't my turn. I'd like to think my biology is perfectly fine. Well, this is also at this point, you're basically just sort of like dangling off of his arm. <laughs> oh. I believe he just went BRB. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Gail's just like, So, Sig, attempting the challenge again. What is this, 58th time? Mm, why do you know the exact number, you <laughs> smug? Oh, we have an ongoing... We, we, we captains have an ongoing board listing your numbers of attempts. The whole village got a betting pool going. You know, Gail, I'm not even surprised. Right? What'd you say, Soul? I love that, right? Or like most people? At least that's what I heard. Uh, it's like in terms of like the world at large, it's like probably like one percent or something have epithets. Talking about in this town specifically. Um, in this town specifically, uh, only Sig would know this, but basically everyone has an epithet. I guess it's my turn since Monk isn't here. Just skip yep. him for now. Yeah. Oh, also, you, the whole village has gathered around to watch the daily, the daily slash weekly defeat of Sig. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna step over here. And right, I'm back. Oh, okay, okay never mind. Captain Ulysses. <laughs> right on time. All right, well, I see the kid's looking a little thin, so I'll take out. He turns to the camera. My scurvy be gone. Takes out, like, a can of oranges. <laughs> Eat these and you'll feel perfectly fine. Probably. What is this? The can is made out of red, so... How are you careful. making this? It's protected by a thick layer of skin. A uh, wolf or orange? Oh, please. Don't fail me now, oranges. Also keep track, I, I added a, a daily orange cap. That's good enough to give him an orange. You can I just immediately just, eat it. To be I, good I literally just, like, reach into my mass of tentacles and pull out an orange. Yeah. It's kind and of just, slimy. Yeah, but just don't forget to keep track of your daily orange allotment. Oh, no, I'm keeping track of my orange allowance. I, I added a counter to your token if you want to just use that. And that way I can see it as well. Is it, is it, oh, you can't, oh yeah, you can't change the color. Like, if you did, could you ch make it orange? <laughs> I you would if I could. change the color of the bars. It's in the okay. options. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I believe only GM has access. Hmm. I'm not seeing that option. Uh, we'll do it later. If there's a bottom, there should be, like, you know, uh, in color. 
it does exist. Alright. <laughs> right, they, they, they can be blood orange. oranges. What does your orange do? Uh, you, you, you gain three stamina. Game settings, uh, token bar colors plus display settings. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I'm not gonna change it to everyone. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. It's, Ulysses, yeah. does that cost stamina? No, it's a free action. I literally just pulled an orange out of my chest. Well, it's a free action to eat it. Huh. Weird. I mean, where do you think I keep these oranges? I am a mass of tentacles. I have almost infinite pockets. I am just a sea I, I, I assume you're costume. careful enough to not make skin contact when handing him the orange of immediately rendering its benefits non-existent. No, I just kind of, like, pass it to him, he holds out his hand, and then I just drop it into his hand. Rally looks at it in confusion, and eventually just, like, crushes it in hand and eats the mush, because he doesn't know how to eat an orange. Doesn't even peel it, just... <laughs> just like an apple. It's the peel, too. <laughs> like... Alright, uh, Sig's up. Alright. Asks the GM, does the peel heal extra? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. No, it does not. Darn On it. a high roll, it heals extra. <laughs> All right, Sig's those gonna orange peels into marmalade for bonus healing. <laughs> Sig's gonna move over a little bit. Can you turn my token the other way? I want to look this man in the eye when I slaughter him with the upcoming three. <sighs> Where is the setting for that? Uh, just right-click the token. It's in additional things, and it should be uh, flip yeah. horizontal or vertical. Two of us don't need to flip ourselves. Exactly, that's why we're the superior anime campaign characters. <laughs> yeah, I'm so used to everyone just staring directly into the camera. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn over to my right and I'm gonna use smoke construct to attempt to make a cannon. <laughs> this is piratey roll okay. for cannon. Mm. Ah. Is there any way in hell I could bullshit some pirate stuff to make that happen? I'm sorry, my inspiration seems to have gone off on you. Um, I'm gonna say no because you already used your turn. Darn it. All I just of... give like a thumbs up, but it's like a little wobbly because he failed at making a pirate cannon. You, 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 what, what happens is, you, you go to make a cannon there, and then Gale is just there next to you. This is... And he just sort of blows the smoke out and just like, this is fun. <laughs> you see s smoke come out of Sig's ears. <laughs> Gale continues to blow it away. I hate you. Like, he's like standing there in a heroic pose with a cape that's blowing in the wind for no reason. <laughs> it's, why but, does the cape blow in the wind? But, like, it no all wind falls to it. you. Seems I am a very crucial part of this wrestling match. I'm doing the wrestling! Have you fell? I'm probably gonna have to Please do it. win. Oh, look, this guy. Actually, you should totally be wrestling him. Why aren't you wrestling him? You wish it useless? Sorry. Someone came in to ask me about dinner. Please win, small child. Uh, Don't disappoint your other crewmen. Let's see. How far am I hanging across the ground? I'm. I mean, your feet are dangling above the ground. Probably like a good couple feet. Okay. Um. And he he's raised the to the table so your elbows are both still on the table. Okay. I have a question about my talent then. If I were to, what would happen if I were to solidify myself inside of like a. Um, would I just be jutted out, or could I functionally anchor myself into it? You could try for either? I want to, um... Rally kind of wants to shift his weight downwards and touch base with the top of the table, then put his remaining arms on the side of the thing, make, like, claw things, stick his fingers inside by phasing through it, and then just solidifying them to create, like, a base or anchor to pull himself towards the table. Okay. You may try it. It will be difficult. You know what? I'm a gambling man. 
Ah! <laughs> so remember oh, no. at the beginning when I said we all had negative 40 luck stats? So, your arms do get into the table. This is not a... Unfortunately, they are not in the table how you wanted, and you just... They just spaz around, sort of twist up. You take some- you take five damage, and then they all just come back out. I, like, slit my arms far- like, too far in, like, slam my head against the table, and I'm just bleeding more. <laughs> yeah. The only uh, person hasn't rolled a one yet. I've rolled three. I'm not sure this kid might be a masochist. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a perfect handle on the situation. Why have you rolled it's so like many... it's like when an NPC stuck on a corner, <laughs> like a Skyrim NPC. Bon is like, oh, oh dear. Yeah, you know, I I was gonna do something, but you know, you know, I, so I, I might have gotten too excited. He shrinks back down. <laughs> he out of falls pity. back to the ground and face <laughs> he, Yeah, he he shrinks back down like. Gets rid of the th the table so you'll get out of it, and then makes the table come back out like out of pity. In it's like I I'll, I'll go easy on you this round. It seems like you've been having a rough bit, lad. In the span of three seconds, Rally slams oh, to yeah. the ground, tries to get up, gets uppercutted by a table, and falls oh. back on it. Um, you do also have to give <laughs> your vassal roll. Ah, this will go well. Was a nat twenty. Eleven. <laughs> hey, I've rolled three of those. Thanks to the handicap. You know, I think it's time the GM rolls a nat one. I think it's time one of us rolls one. I already rolled bonds off for this round. <laughs> Dr. Saul. Maybe I have a wrong grip. I'll try changing that. Okay. <laughs> do what I do... Hey! Power, whatever. Does it work with like a cloud of my of bacteria? Uh, are you talking to me? I mean, like it's that? most likely he was talking to the guy who could become incorporeal. Okay, I he just powers. He cut out in the beginning, so I didn't hear him. Um, I'd be willing to try. I don't exclusively wander through clouds. I, 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 gosh. Oh, I'm just... Biotics. Oh. <laughs> Finally! That is the closest we've ever gotten to a 20. Which, which were you using? The biotics. Oh, yeah! I'll, I'll, I'll even give it... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have it added already. Um, but you 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 get um plus. I'll, I'll give you a, a little bonus and give you a. Plus. How much is the base? I think it's three. Hey, yeah, I'll I'll give you a plus four for that because it's a nineteen. <laughs> so what are you doing? Up like a syringe and stabbed it in your arm and feel better. Okay, let's see. If everything doesn't go well, I have a plan next turn. Well, with, now, with how things are going, I think you need to use that plan next that. turn. Alright, All right. Captain Ulysses. Are you there, Monk? Mm -hmm. You there? And he's gone. Well. Oh, wait. We'll skip ahead to, for Sig, to Sig for now. Alright. Well, as long as Gale won't be a dick again. <laughs> okay. Try and make it. Oh, you're back? 
like yes. every time. Every time. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even my fault this time. I lost internet connection and everything. Ah. Uh, oh, I do up. Yeah. Let me let Discord low. <laughs> Roll 20s. <laughs> Alright, let's show you how to real cannon. Let's do step back and we'll use Payhan's gun. Just put a can. Oh. Alright. Let's use the bad boy. He's gonna shoot Braun with a cannon. Please work, please work, please work. Please work. I'm preparing for the worst. Average. It's a perfectly average cannon I... usage. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, Blonde gets struck by your cannonball from nowhere, and is like, Aha! <laughs> ah, you bitch! <laughs> I, I think John. <laughs> it's sort of like Braun looks at it like he's looks at it for a second like he's considering catching the cannonball and then just sort of shrugs and it smacks him in the face. I thought you were gonna say he looks at like a BB gun. <laughs> it's like oh shit. Alright, Sig looks so... over at Captain Ulysses. So that's what a real cannon looks like. Makes cannon. It's a decent, better cannon. Yeah. Oh, a, ca a cannon appears. Oh, it's gonna be right, right here. Okay. You will need something to fire, to to fire from it. Conveniently, there are these giant boulders. Hmm. <laughs> Bacteria. Yeah. I have a stupid idea. <laughs> right, Rayleigh's turn. What um? Is there anything in the cannon right now? No. What if... What if he were to place himself in the cannon? And then you shoot it... Uh... Th this way. Yes. I'm I okay like that with idea this a lot. dual tech. <laughs> and then what are they I doing? Like you want right. Gron's arm to go this way. That too. I forgot. That could work. I'll just fire myself into a wall. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Well, oh, you're actually, going to hit a wall either way, really. I wouldn't have to. Oh, I just got a really good idea. Hmm. I have two ideas. I don't know which one I want to go with. Does, does Queen Braun, flip. Does Braun look like he'd be... Actually, I can just ask him. Braun, sir. Yes? Would you be willing to take this wrestle elsewhere for just a moment? It stays with the table. Could you move the table? Conceivably. May you move it exactly... Looks northward. Two... Squares... Upward. I don't see why not. <laughs> Rally is going to like lower himself into the cannon all the while like still hold like three arms coming up to the bit And then he's gonna look to Sig give three thumbs up with his other arms and Let's see I'll let you attempt this now as a duo tech Is this gonna take my action or can I still do something? Um, you you can do this and you'll have your arm wrestle roll Okay, I'm fine with that Let's go, shoot me into a wall. And I'll give- I'll give Sig a roll for this as well, because you're the one wh who made the cannon. Rolling for fire's cannon. Roll to polish them. Eighteen! That's about right. I sure <laughs> did fire a cannon. <laughs> and then give- give me an arm wrestle roll too. I did. You know... Rally? Do I get a separate one? Like... You fight, you get, you, uh, you get a separate one separate from your, okay, B cannon fuel war. Ah, a number. So, Team. basically what happens is, Rayleigh gets into the ca cannon, but he's about, like, 
just stepped into it when you expertly fired the cannon with tremendous force. And Rayleigh basically spins around Braun, like doing multiple rotations instead of going into the wall because he wasn't in it enough to have a clear trajectory. <laughs> but he channels this momentum into his arm wrestling. Like a judo slam him into the wall. So let's see, Braun's turn oh for a wall for arm wrestle. <laughs> oh, yeah! no. oh no! Yes. His arm polished. just bends really far. It's it's touching. It's nearly touching. Like the slightest breeze would be enough to push it all the way down. Gail, do me a favor for once in your life. <laughs> Gail makes a breeze from the wrong direction. Son of a. It's bastard. <laughs> Doctor Saw something never done before a needle ah bronze hand are you right ah you right is it meant to go this way I... yeah it, it's meant to go it, it's meant to go up you want his arm to go basically up because his palm is Play facing a needle out. at his hand eight I think it's at this time I should mention that if you throw it at his hand, you'll impale mine. Don't care! Try to end this now! <laughs> you both take three damage! Ah! It's you're bad. giving me a better one. Your right hand touches the base of the table. Captain <laughs> Ulysses, the table. keep firing cannons. <laughs> you you have tight. achieved victory. In a sense, there's only a few concussions. <laughs> Rally like loosens his grip and lowers the two arms that were wrestling. Then he looks at the other one that has been pinned to Braun's hand. <laughs> oh, sorry, let me get that out for you. Braun's like, no need. Oh. He rips out the needle and just barehandedly oh. crushes it. Shards of glass oh. going into his hand. That was that uncomfortable. Was I think you just made it worse. Well, no, it goes into his hand. Really, it's fine. Bond's like, I see your training has paid off, or possible the physical, possibly the physical attacks on my person. Uh, one of those. You wouldn't expect a pirate not to cheat. Well, Fair yeah. enough. Now that I've been bested, I must go train. <laughs> And he just sprints into the distance. I think he Hulk jumps into the distance. <laughs> yeah. He runs And like, you see house. where he was standing, he's left for you basically just like, little things that are basically just like, rocks that have just like, carved into them, I beat bronze trial. I was gonna say, he like runs through the houses, hills, and trees, leaving like a bronze-shaped hole. Nail. <laughs> it, it is... You have to get literally just Gale. Absolutely not. I heard of this one guy who his everything was his name and it was stupid. Like seriously stupid. Right. And you may choose one proficiency or two stamina. Where's the thingies? Where's the thingies? Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I. <laughs> I can there give are them. No thingies to be I had. can give them to you if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna post them in the... <laughs> I, I can link into those. I got a big list of anime campaign assets at my disposal. We all do, because there's the way of finding it. So it's one proficiency, right? Yeah. Proficiency will be taken. I will also take the proficiency. Let me just update my sheet. Oh. And you do not regain stamina. Oh, we don't. Ah. That is correct. I see my inspiration marks are still left on my person. Inspiration oh. marks. Quain. He's gonna, he's gonna look around and go like, I guess another try. I'm gonna use antibiotics on myself. Well, if this is the case, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna take stamina. You uh you you get three back. 
Do any of us get any upgrades? Those who took proficiency. Uh, it, it's, much... one's not gonna be enough for any of you to get upgrades. How much stamina yeah. was it? <laughs> one or two, uh, two stamina. I went to proficiency. I feel very proficient. I have learned how to arm wrestle. Will this... Is there anyone who isn't taking proficiency? Will the will do you will the stamina st uh, up update my current hit points? Yes. All right. So I effectively heal for two. Also. Yeah. I mean, I could have just given you one of these oranges. Alex. And everyone else took uh, proficiency. Yep. <laughs> Perhaps now we need to uh, follow up on our adventures and beat the rest of these guys. Yeah, but I first, guess. I... yes, you, you... I think we are on a roll. Those of you with sharp enough eyes see a, a single tear in Sig's eye as he picks up the I Beat Brawn badge. It's your, this is your first time ever beating any of the trials. And the thing is, each time you attempt them, you have to beat all three, or you have to start back at the beginning. Are y'all saying that? Oh, no, no, this is just like what you what Sig knows of the general rules. How large are these? Yes, guys? I might as well pick up this badge. He uh, picks it up and it's sort of like bronze-sized. <laughs> oh. He like, he like picks it up and it's sort of like it just sort of like merges into his hand and his, as like tentacles wrap around it, sort of pull it up through his sleeve into his chest. <laughs> so, uh. like, Rally takes out a piece of string and attempts to make it a necklace, but he fails because it is a rock and it is heavy. <laughs> Still has Yar. it out in the open. I'm not gonna do that. I shall add that to my character's oh, inventory. Awesome. Also, oh, as befitting, um, a rock from Braun, it is also usable as a weapon. Ah! <laughs> oh, puts their arm on Sin and goes, You finally accomplished something. It was literally cheating. And like, you didn't even do anything. Like, you see in a couple- you see in Jim's eye, like, a single tear shed for Sig. <laughs> Just like, I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Whatever your name is. My name is Jim. <laughs> sure, Tim. Thanks. <laughs> he, he, he leaves and goes into your house. Anyone else you lock the door? Sorry, I didn't catch that. I have some antibiotics. Mm. And I have oranges. Also, um, I, I'm just gonna say this because I, I, I forgot to put it, to uh, write it into your, your kit. But you, you have a, uh, because you're paying to use, you, you have, you have the same cap that, um, Captain Ulysses is gonna have on healing, which is basically 10 successes per day. I, uh, for for um using the uh, antibiotics, I, th I think I'll ra I'd rather have a orange. Thank you. All right, time to pull out an orange. Both of your options confuse me. I am torn. It's a pretty decent orange. Yeah, this oranges one is... are part of a balanced breakfast. Yeah, this one has. Very little slime on it. I'm impressed. What are you, what are you eating in the morning to throw off the balance of your diet? I mean, I mainly just eat algae, prawns, small fish. Those don't seem very heavy. I mean, I also am carrying everything I own inside of my body. I am very unbalanced. Ah. Uh. I see. It's like, this isn't a swag pirate walk, I just, it's really hard to walk. That would make sense, given your thin appendages, cockshead. Gale has walked over to Sig. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> the 
finally did it, Snake Boy. He's got like a hand outstretched, just like pushing Soul back. He's BRB. You finally did it, Siggy Boy. He's BRB, you wait on it. Oh. I imagine this. Sig I is just like... assumed by default it was Captain Ulysses. <laughs> oh. I assume that since Sig is like unresponsive to Gale, Gale just like slowly, uncomfortably leaning on him until he pays oh, yeah. attention. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> As I was saying. Uh, tension in this outside area is so large or tight, you could cut it with a knife. Nice, see yeah, knife. No, you're not getting to use a knife. A, a, a couple of the of the random it. arbitrary pedestrians like take out pocket knives and start trying to cut the air. One of them succeeds. Rally, being very impressionable, takes out the only thing he has was cloak a rock and attempts to do the same. <laughs> Vote to cut the air with a rock. That's about right. <laughs> it's about as successful as you can hope to be. <laughs> he drops it on his toes and squeals a little bit. Oh good, I'll I'm just back go just in time for another damage. Drake one. You, you, you succeed in cutting the air, but also cut yourself in the process. <laughs> I, I take <laughs> one damage. So the blunt object, that's how failure I am. I was... I was gone for a minute. How did you roll a one already? <laughs> uh, Gale has walked up to you and he's like, So, Siggy boy, you finally did it! Clenched fist. Yeah, Gale. I sure you, did. You see, that wh you see that while you were briefly zoned out in your victory, he has grabbed your, your badge of beating Braun. I'm a kill and him. is holding it in his hand. I'm a kill him. <laughs> I would not be opposed to that. Taking another pirate's property is strictly against the code. He he gives you the, you he gives you the rock back, but it has his signature on it. <laughs> it says the signature now. doesn't mean you beat Gale's challenge. But Gale was here, and and that is exactly what is what he wrote on the rock. All right, you guys ready to start a second challenge right now? <laughs> Let's rock and ass. roll. Wait, that's not the phrase pirates say. <laughs> Rally slips his feet out from under the rock he dropped on him and lifts his rock up to Gale. I would also like it to be signed. Absolutely. No, no kid, over. no! <laughs> he, he no kid. Your signed, child. <laughs> he no. seems very confused. You had your signed, he wants his sign. He signs no. the rock. Roll, roll 1d20 minus 10. Ah. Who? That sounds like my modifier. <laughs> what is he signing it with? A sharpie. You, your walk is worth seven times as much now. Oh. Poop that sharpie out of existence with my passive. You'll have to touch it for that. That? Shit. Gale walks away. <laughs> my wealth has multiplied sevenfold. I'll start on the quarantine! No. <laughs> Gail. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. So like, as he's walking, he's like, So are you ready for my challenge? Kill him! <laughs> Let's go. But if you kill me, you'll never be able to beat my trial. I nice. could loot your corpse. No, we have to beat him right now. <laughs> I know you long enough to know. Better than to keep that on, a, on me, Siggy, my boy. Oh, do we have to arm wrestle you too? Absolutely not. I actually change my trial on a regular basis. I'm... I Usually no to whatever would most annoy Siggy. I hate him so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder he could never leave. Does that mean the trial is liking you? Oh, Rose! Yeah. <laughs> roll for that sick burn, dog. Sig you don't grabs even roll. Dr. Soul. G Gale takes one damage. <laughs> Sig, Sig oh. grabs Dr. Soul. Well, you know, you have to come to I... the other door in the town square for my challenge. Just shut up, Gale, I'm talking. 
You know, Dr. Soul, I didn't, you're kind of a freak, but I think I'm gonna like you. <laughs> Try and grab his cigarette and make it disappear. You're already <laughs> prepared for the challenge. Pass it, gonna try and poof away his cigarette. Is that good enough? You, you, you poof away his cigarette, he immediately takes out another one. Yeah, you see he pulls out a, a small box that's labeled candy cigarettes. <laughs> ah, Popeye's candy sticks. I approve. What is candy? Sig well, my boy, candy you sick. haven't truly lived until you've experienced the joys of candy. I will try and search my persons for a candy. <laughs> Look, I am living right now, in this very moment. You don't need to search, you have one. I pull out, like, a, a Werther's original. This is what the humans call caramel. And he hands it to him. This time he makes sure to take the wrapper off before giving it to him. <laughs> He would have eaten it. <laughs> yes, but I wanted to make sure he's a good child. I know Rally is going to get it stuck in his teeth like a dog. Caramel. Oh, to not choke on caramel. <laughs> oh, I was actually expecting a walk. You know, he jokes. You know, uh, can someone give him the Heimlich maneuver? You, I can't. You actually have him. something very familiar to this. Ba back home. Except ah. much less tasty. It's a oh, shame yes. Drake had to waste his 17 on candy. I know this. <laughs> and that's the last roll above a tw above a 10 you'll get all night. This, this, this tastes very similar to Abyss Rock. I told you it was a homely place. Everything tastes like this. It's actually rather annoying. Egg. Need to go inside. Yeah, we're going yes, yes. too. <laughs> I actually need to go inside, and he'll get a chair. Uh, yes. We are significantly lacking in chair inventory. <laughs> Looks at the pieces of chair on the ground. I can get another chair. Um, well, you That's can go the back inside. door. What were you saying, GM? Uh, well, you can go back inside, at the very least. Let me just... Can I just go back inside, go into another cell, and just get a chair? Um, well, the cell doors have been locked. It seems like they didn't want you going back in them after having left. It's, it's oh, fine. Just take a small tree. <laughs> get this to, to, the office decorum. To, I mean, use as well. I mean... I mean, pirates are cruel and thinking creatures, but, but we wouldn't ruin the perfect thing. symmetry of this room. Why not just take enough to fix the symmetry? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Must be perfect. I roll for cake tree as well. For uh, you can roll. You're, you're probably not gonna get the whole tree. I'll find a pot. Just a pot. And then, um, it seems like it wants to stay together. I'll take this one. And you, you, you do know this door right here has written on it, Gale's Challenge. Come if you dare, Siggy, my boy. Which, which door is that? Uh, the the one on the right. Oh, um, over here. Yeah. I hear the townsfolk have. You have like a pot. Good. Okay, this will be very useful when I have to smash it over somebody's head. Alright, I'm just gonna grab you all for a second. Out uh, whose head that's going to be smashed. Oh. Hopefully not mine. <laughs> yes, don't don't yeah. let me use the pot. <laughs> Your last inspiring message um left a dent. Yes, I apologize. <laughs> I should be full. Ish. Antibiotics. Yeah. And you see, Gale. Boring. Gale. You feel, coming from the other side of the room, a breeze blowing down, blowing southwards. So this way. Anytime you attempt to move forwards, you find that your movement is halved, rounding down. Oh. This is... 
unfortunate. Gail's just like, why, hello there, Siggy. Glad you could make it. <sighs> Welcome to my trial. All you have to do to pass a trial is have two people simultaneously have one person simultaneously one person touching each fork at the same time. Which means you need to have one person touching this fork and one person touching this fork. I don't, I don't understand the challenge. We have to walk forward. What am I missing? You're missing nothing. This challenge is stupid. No, you're missing one thing. Gail's a dick and there's probably traps. Oh. I mean, oh, no. I figured There's there would traps. be traps based on the spike floor. Is, how big is uh, Relay? How do you say that name again? Rally. How big is Rally? Um, I would say probably around five feet. Are you willingly? Are you? Okay with being willingly cramped in a cube area for about. Oh, so you're gonna wanna roll for initiative. Uh, yeah, I know, I'm asking first. Yes. I see no reason not. It'll be a brand new experience. It's getting a little bit stale in there. There's also a pot you might wanna hide in there. You could wear the pot as a helmet. Ah, I die. <laughs> <laughs> 11, 12, 13, and 5. Do I get the highest initiative again? Probably. <laughs> uh, do I have to roll for uh, target willingly being able willingly to go inside the pot? Inside the oh, pot. I mean, Rally is definitely willing. He's not fighting it. Let me know when you've entered in all the initiatives. Uh, and... You need to refresh because it doesn't yeah. show up for this map. You need to oh. delete our tokens and add them again. Um, by oh, the that's annoying. Add token to turn order. Um, for future reference, Rally is about five feet tall, but he's much wider than someone who would be that because of his extra arms. He's got sort of a wingspan. Now five foot by five foot cube. Basically. The space I have is five foot by five foot. So as long as you're tinier than that, you'll probably be fine. Probably not exactly five foot, maybe a little shorter than that, at least wing wise. But quite fitting, Sig is up first. No, Dr. Soul is. Oh really? Unless you want me unless you want me to have a hates gale bonus. <laughs> I feel uh, like that makes not sense. Not for initiative. Oh. Since Gale is going last anyway. Alright, you're willing to let to be put in a tiny space so I can hopefully carry you across without actually having to carry you and throw you out of rock. Absolutely. This plays very well into my fans. I'm gonna quarantine uh rally. <laughs> okay, sure well. toilet part is a helmet. Ah. <laughs> there are two of us. <laughs> can I suggest something? Can you allow Rally to roll since he's also like an extra dimensional being and is <laughs> capable of going to this realm? Yeah, uh, th that's fair. Uh, Rally, you can try to roll too. That's it, dude. <laughs> yeah, no. Seven, Do just, just, just doesn't work. Oh. Maybe next time. You tried. Another action. I can make an infestation. I'll try and make an infestation. Mm. Well, that's another seven. I mean, you make one, it's not impressive. <laughs> ah. Yes. Oh, next person. Oh, yep. Sig. Alright. You know, I'm really liking these cannons. <laughs> I'm gonna step forward and build a cannon behind me. And I'm going to attempt. I guess for next one, for next session, we definitely need a cannon graphic. I'll make one for sure. Yes. 
make a spooky make a spooky ghost cannon and a cool smoke cannon. Well, the, the spooky ghost one basically fires once and then disappears. Yeah. But but the difference is that it always that it automatically fires, where Sig has to actually make it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a cannon and fire myself from it up these stairs. I, yeah, it. I'll, I'll let you do that as an action and a movement. All right, make cannon. Fire cannon. Yeah, I'll 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 give you a uh, to about here. Can you move me? Just so. Yeah. Like you're you're fighting some pretty strong winds, but it's better than you would have been able to go walking. And there is now a cannon there. Yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> you could boost it. Oh, uh, val val Valet's turn. Okay. Oh, um... can Captain Ulysses ghost fuse this cannon? <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's exactly what I'm thinking to make a super cannon. So. Yeah, I but I, I would say you would want to do it at combined turns for that one. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I'm holding on to. <laughs> we need to make a ghost smoke cannon. Alright, so the half movement thing is in effect, right? Yes. Okay. You can double move to just get your normal movement. Rally walks forward, struggling to do so by the wind, and eventually he becomes fed up with it, um, reaches his hands out to his side, and kind of makes a circular motion, forming a portal. I'm gonna use quick step. God damn! It. <laughs> you fall he forms off a into the portal spikes. In the, he you forms a portal, portal into directly the over the spikes. Yeah. <laughs> you fall under the spikes. You take five damage. Wow. Uh -huh. However, fortunately, the spikes are such that you, as long as you stay stationary, you don't think you'll take more damage because they're fairly large. Damn! I can't believe Drake is actually cursed. <laughs> I regret to inform you all that I'm not yet used to the rules of playing. <coughs> <laughs> just blood coughs up. Lucy's just <laughs> goes, I don't think an orange can fix that. <laughs> Please, your antibiotics can fix that. Go on without <laughs> me. Uh, Captain Ulysses. I want to I want to, <laughs> to do the same thing <laughs> Sig did. <laughs> Is this cannon still there? Yeah, my cannon is a structure. Oh. Uh, yeah, but he, he needs to actively fire it. Well, if I dead. fuse my ghost cannon with it, does it just auto-fire now? You can do that. You may take damage from it. That's okay. Cannons work on kind of a process where my talent may help me survive. Don't worry, Probably. Drake took the one for you. <laughs> That's what right, I'm here for. I guess I'll, I'll use a movement to get into the cannon, and then I guess I'll roll I mean, the I would think you cannon. don't really need to use a movement. Actually, yeah. I mean, yeah, I am moving, and it's reduced movement, so yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll take the stamina before rolling for this, just to make sure that I remember to do that. Come on, cannon. Don't fail me now. Come on, cannon. That's... <laughs> Ah, Average it, roll. It, 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 it's, it's good enough, <laughs> given everyone's luck tonight. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna take three damage from blasting yourself in with a with a cannonball, but you do you do travel to about where uh, Sig is. Hey, because cannonballs are round and they're technically like a blunt object, can I use gelatinous form to reduce that damage? Yeah, yeah, it, it gets reduced down to one. Hooray! Ignore what I'm doing. Oh damn, it's Gale's turn. <laughs> Why, hello there! <laughs> I did not think this action through. He, he, he's gonna, um... Spend some time on use an ability. Oh dear. He blows you a kiss. You both get blown back three. I'm gonna dodge. <laughs> I have to You really die. want to turn into smoke when a blast of air is coming at you. God damn it, why is Gale my hard counter? <laughs> I mean, you can try, but just, you've probably done this before. No, you're right, I've learned my lesson. 
it's a bad idea to turn into anything around a gale. Can I just uh, try and, uh, like, I will resist? say, it's not that it won't entirely work, it's that you'll have to just roll a little bit higher for it to work. Can I just roll to resist that movement, like, just sort of hunker down a little bit? Uh, no. Dang it. You know what, yeah, it's that's, that's, just that's gonna be like, yeah, can by I... him. That's determined by his roll. Yeah, no, it didn't work. I burned stamina. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna be like, yeah, can I just like sink down into a pile of tentacles on the stairs and just sit there and hopefully not fall uh, back any further? You, you do succeed in turning into smoke. You just get blown back a little bit further. I'm so long. <laughs> Why so am I so long? <laughs> Oh no, Gale's done a horrible thing to you. That is a uh, Dr. Soul's turn. I've moved nowhere. <laughs> yep. Are you there, Will? You're there. I'm okay. back. Sorry, my, my uh, voice just kind of, my connection kind of crapped out. Yes, beetles need control. Yeah, um, and you can enter in their stats and stuff. A cannon here. I am very tempted to do something very dumb and try and. Are you going to fire beetles out of my cannon? <laughs> At now. Alright, that's stupid. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. These. We're to rally and gonna basically try and. I'm. I don't know. I'm just gonna put them there. Are and you going to date? Are you? To... <laughs> Can I suggest you game. daisy chain? the syringe down to Rayleigh using out. beetles. Oh, that's really good. Yes, I'm back. Sorry. Did you not hear anything I just said? It's good. Uh, kind of. We heard yeah. Rally. He's over next to Rally, and then I was going to fire myself out of, the, out of this cannon. Uh, you, you need to wait for uh, Sig's turn to fire yourself from the cannon. Then I'll just. No, it's fine. If we can, we can dual tech this. Or we can try tech this, and I'll boost it even further. This. Hey, I have a scout cloud. Should I just throw that at him? I don't think you have the range to reach him. Cannon. It's a sphere. I can boost it. Hopefully, with the cannon. I mean, could, oh, yeah. can we do that? <laughs> so. So you're gonna wait and try to combine turns, I guess? Yes. Alright, so who's combining turns? Uh, everyone but Rayleigh. <laughs> Rally. Okay, so we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll go to Rayleigh and see how he tries to save himself. Um... Oh man, what do I do to save myself? You <laughs> Everything can, I do backfires on me. You can do it, Drake. I believe in you. <laughs> Power of belief might not be uh, enough to save this child. How far down am I? Uh, the lip's probably a good five feet. Oh, okay. So, like, it's not too bad. I would like to attempt. Um. I would like to attempt to quick jump again out of the. Sp Making myself a feral kind of aid with not being pierced by spines. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's see. A number! Yep. Yeah. Okay, where do you want to go? Oh man, you put a Within zero rates. after that one? Two. So that would be ten feet. And five feet to go up. And then one, two. 
appears on the bridge through like a portal very quickly, dusts himself off, bleeding from various orifices created by the spikes. Uh, can solve that. Um, another quick question: Which direction is the wind blowing? Uh, south. So this way. Um, if I used chalk line, would that aid anyone in being able to be careful? I, I would say it would uh, block the wind behind it for one round. Wonderful. But Rally if people wanted of... to try to cross past the chalk line, they wouldn't be able to do so. Ah. Uh, how do you all feel about that? Uh, we're about to triple tech past you, so... Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this. We just need to aim the cannon a little higher. No, In no, that no. case, Rally's I got gonna this. hunt it down. Try not to die. You you can also dub, I guess double move, or do your do a second movement. Oh yeah, I didn't actually use my movement. So one, two. Yeah. You're yeah. a heavy build. Uh. Oh, Reduce movement to wind. Yeah. Uh. Still. He's a tiny child's man. All right, the dual tech begins. I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, smoke construct and enlarge my cannon. Oh. I'm gonna expand it over like this. Make it a bigger cannon. Turn it into a long nine. Ooh. So it doesn't do that. I mean, unless... I try and boost that. <laughs> yeah, does anyone have a boosty? I, I... I mean, I'm going to try and ghost cannon that, I guess, since we're tri teching <laughs> And then you're all going to get into it and try to fire it, essentially. Is that correct? Yep. I, I, we should fire the cock engage and just go. No, that was almost an 18. It's not enough to boost. I'll give you something for it since you gave up all of your turns for it. This all just gonna. I don't know. Get in the cannon. Yes. Well, for getting cannon. Hey! <laughs> that is the best roll out of making this awesome tri tech. So, so all three of you are firing yourself from this ghost smoke cannon. So right. what else? I'm gonna roll it, it, for it's fire kind of... cannon. Hopefully not. I guess uh, Ulysses and Sig give me another roll, and I'll just take that roll for Sig. I mean, for sure. Right. Oh. I mean, so eating. Captain, let's see. So Captain Ulysses gets to about here. So gets, Saul gets up to valet. There you go. That one's transparent. And Sig gets to be directly in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's Gale's turn, and he's like, Wow, you all sure made a lot of progress. And he's gonna try to do the windy thing. Oh, God. Uh, roll to resist, please. Um, oh. Your chalk line isn't any time. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. Rally kind of turns to face, finally dusting himself off, sees everyone behind him, is like, Oh, that would be very bad. Draws a line in the bridge. Well... Ah. Uh, I'm just going to jump into the spikes it. now. It helps a little bit, you all get blown back about two. Okay. I was about to say, can I just jump into the spikes and stay put? <laughs> Just take that um, damage. Uh, give me a roll for it. Uh, gelatinous form, don't fail me now. <laughs> These spikes aren't blunt damage. It's a 14, that's the highest I've rolled so far. You jump onto the spike successfully and anchor yourself on them, but you do take the spike damage of 5. I oh. can survive that. It is not reduced because they are spikes. Okay, uh, Dr. Soul. I also have to post uh, do, I Do the beetles... Okay. The beetles are affected by the wind, correct? Like yeah. If they, if they play. Did you answer? I didn't hear you. Uh... Yeah. 
the the the, be the beetle's movement is affected by the wind, but in that it's halved. That's just the case. Um. Oh. So they're gonna the beetles are gonna double move one up to Captain Useless. Captain Useless. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sig. They're actually. I was just gonna double move as well, so it's one. Oh yeah, sorry. I, I... Yeah, it's Gears weird like, having. Oh, that's awfully close. Let me use my anytime. Oh shit! Fuck you. No. Hey, at least you triggered his anytime. Now we know what it is. At least you triggered his trap card. Oh. Oh, good God. Game for the spike soul. A, a geyser of air basically erupts beneath you and knocks you up into the ceiling. And you... Never mind. Aim to land on the stairs, Ulysses. I mean, and you, you basically oh. bounce back down and take five damage. Oh, so I stay in the same place? Back there. In, in place. But... But he... So his anytime triggers when you get a bit closer, so you can't use your full movement. Because it has a range of four. Cool. Do beetles count? As what? Oh, he's like, he's like, no, it has to be people. How do you know they're not people? Because they're very because obviously Sig can, beetles. Because from experience, Sig can make duplicate type things too. So, made that rule just for him. Think? They do what he said. These things think. Oh, also sorry. I just accidentally skipped Sig in the turn order. Here we go. Sig's turn. I'm gonna hold until after Rayleigh. Rally. Sorry. It's fine. Combine turns with Captain Ulysses for more pirate power. Maybe. We'll see after Rally. <laughs> Captain Ulysses is not as piratey as he thought he was. <laughs> okay. Alright. Pretty low on stamina, so I'm trying to think of ways to... Avoid dying? Yeah. If I were to... Phase shift my upper body. Would that help me negate some of the wind's penalty? I would say you can use your body and try to treat the wind like. I, I would say you can't really intentionally phase shift parts of your body, but you can treat the wind as an object. Can I do that? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, it it only lets you really move one, but. All the same. Let's yeah. go one more than normal. Just Martian Manhunter your way through everything. Boop, boop, boop. Touches rock. You know, if you had any ability to create Wait, how, a gateway between the two rocks. <laughs> I have five movement. So one, two, three, four, five. But it's halved. Oh. Um, I thought the... I, I, I was going to be... Oh, I, I meant that you could use your talent to basically get a free movement. Ah, okay. Or, yes, you get to that. Hmm. I could just teleport there that actually touched the rock. But I don't like my odds of that. Yes, or you could just create portals between the two rocks to each of our hands, and we'd technically be touching oh. both rocks. I'd be willing to do that, but I don't know if the GM would allow me to. That's not how the ability works expressly. It is very much not how that ability works. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, I was trying to think with portals. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I've been trying to... There's something else I could do, but I don't think I want to risk the stamina with this. Uh, I'm probably just going to double move, because then I'll be able to touch the rock. So it'll just be in front of you. Yeah. Err... Uh, there. Okay. Or do I have to roll for the double movement? Here, right? So it's one, two, uh, no, you don't have to roll for double to double oh, move. Right there. Okay. 
I, well, I am touching the rock. Gale looks at you. He smiles. Rally tries to smile, but blood drips into his mouth, so he closes it. Alright. You don't seem too hot, champ. I am not. Captain Ulysses. One <laughs> last duel tech. <laughs> the duel tech of all ages. Time to cannon our way through this. Rolling for a cannon. <laughs> Rolling for a cannon. Oh! Don't fail me now, cannon. Oh. <laughs> cannon! Oh, so do you, so you do you both basically just go back, and then try to cannon each other again? No, I make another cannon right here. <laughs> okay. Yes, and I'm going to boost said cannon with my cannon and fire myself out of it. You two get blasted like all the way over here. Yes, I still have my movement. <laughs> Touches rock. <laughs> Gale looks at you and he's like, "Huh." I spit at Gale. <laughs> Captain Ulysses I, I, would spit if I had lips or a tongue. I guess when you have teamwork, you're not completely terrible. Everything hurts. If I could feel pain, this would probably be pretty painful. When Gale says that, Rally just looks down. <laughs> <laughs> the syringe to the face. There's uh, I'm really good that final dual tech worked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it really did have a, a dramatic payoff. It did. Cannon tech for the win. Sig, for that I am promoting you to... Let's see. I don't know where you started off at, so... I'll think about it later. Alright. I'd give you a high five, but... You know, uh, the, the, give the me a high hook. He walks over, you can give me a high hook. Oh no. He holds uh, out his Gale... plastic hook hand. Yeah, that G Gale works. Gale <laughs> each of you the, his thing that you um get for beating him, which is a terribly gaudy just plastic rose. You know the excitement he had for bronze badge? Inverse that for Gale's badge. Yeah. I his, grab his badge Gale's badge and add it to my inventory. Yeah. Um, and you, you can get either, once again, two stamina or one proficiency. Proficiency? Fine, one proficiency. One proficiency? Proficiency for me. Team proficiency. To 16, I'm at 10. I'm at 29. Did everyone take proficiency? I'm gonna take proficiency too this time. Who's at twenty nine? Yeah. How are you at twenty nine? I rolled the twenty on proficiency. You yeah. son of a. <laughs> the it's one really good roll you got, isn't it? <laughs> the the one good roll you've got in the entire campaign. Yeah, my only twenty probably. <laughs> I probably have the most stamina. Your stamina is pretty absurd. Yeah, I'm sitting at a nice 38. Jesus, ah. you guys are all beasts. I have 29. I have 23. I've had to I deal with Brawn and Gale my entire life. <laughs> Point taken. Anyway, Sig, you are promoted to Sail Master. I take the title proudly. Are we promoted to anything? No, you haven't done anything really piratey. I mean, Rally can be Cabin Boy, I guess. What Everyone oh, starts Rally. at Cabin Boy. What classifies as piratey? Points at Ulysses. It's a long story that we do not have time for. Okay. Why did I roll twice? I don't know why I rolled twice. That was for antibiotics on Relay on Rally. Just the first one. There's a real ass cannon for Captain Ulysses. Yeah, th th that's fine. He gets the heal. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna see what quality of an orange I can pull out for Riley as well. You know what? Uh, if you want Doctor Soul, can that second count for healing for someone else? That's a that's a solid kind of 
Yeah, I'll let the second one also be count as a healing. Yeah. You should probably I'm heal this yourself, really to be honest. Orange if anyone yeah. wants it. Yeah, uh, so I'll smack, take smack it. out the threes for the 11 and the 8. Three heals for the... Three staminas for the 11 and 8. Ooh. I'd say the 8 should also go to Rally. I'm a squishy boy. boy. It's just to be a very honest, slimy, kind of a bit too ripe orange. My health bar looks damaged. I s probably still have more stamina than you guys. I was so I'm rocking at a, at a solid 14. Um, I'm at 24. I was at a solid 3. I am. I'm solidly half hit right now. <laughs> You're also, also, I like to imagine that Captain U Ulysses doesn't know why he was hurt. He lands on the spike, and the spike just goes clean through him. His tentacles just move out of the way. It's like, I don't understand how I'm taking damage. <laughs> tentacles aren't supposed to go that far apart. All right, well, oh, yeah. can it's we fine. leave? Oh, we should Did probably leave damage? this room. Did anyone upgrade? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Does 17 get me anything? No. Um... Too bad that the god you, that you probably that won't get us. get stuff this what? session. Damn it! If only I'd be rolling twenties. Yes, if only we had better luck. If only Rally got st uh, proficiency on that ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would be a god. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. If, he had, if he got proficiency on that ones, he'd be like. Like, getting his overclass by now. <laughs> if that were my luck, I'd only roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be up to class 3 by now. No, if <laughs> that were your luck, you'd only roll 2. <laughs> yeah, actually. Alright, let's uh, get out of this room. It's making me sick. Rally limps out of the room. <laughs> Hi. Captain Ulysses kind of just, like, slides down the stairs. Small of a space can you pack into? I'm afraid to answer that question. I think I'm rather yeah. small. I mean, I, if I sort of lost all my clothes, I could probably fit into a space about. Sort of like does a motion with his hand, probably like two feet cubed. I'm gonna try it. It's like, oh, well, do you want to go into a little packet room? Like a little small space? I mean, sort of like backs away a little bit. Not really. I can roll into a pretty fine ball. Rally sits on the ground and tucks his arms around himself and begins rolling on the floor. But I'm going to try and quarantine Rally. Wee! Wee! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know much about the last captain. I've, I've never really ever made it to him. It would be a surprise. Imagine how fortunate it would be if it was something to do with pirates. I mean, we'd have to clear advantage. That'd be a, a miracle. <laughs> yes, that would be a perfect miracle. Too bad I so don't I think we're that lucky. <laughs> if Why? Child, what makes if you say that? <laughs> Looks at Rally. <laughs> if his child consists oh. only of arm wrestling, I believe we'll be fine. Rally, you have an epithet, right? No. Everyone oh, stares at Rally. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this strange, epithetless, interdimensional being? I is literally <laughs> made of jellyfishes, and the guy literally made of smoke. This is so strange. I don't wager you see that every day. Especially combined. Oh, here? And that says this is something. an oddity. Right. I wonder where the last captain <laughs> is. I never really... Where do I even go? It's an Maybe excellent question. Ask... Maybe we could ask Gale or Braun. You say Gale and I spit. <laughs> Uh, Gale basically immediately left after you won. You don't know where he went. Braun is like, you can hear him in the distance somewhere punching things. Yeah, I don't Something think we want to ask Braun. this character we should speak to. Who is this? 
Tig, you should know what this is. You live here. See, oh, you do hey, recognize you have, a, you have an icon. I, I might know you. <laughs> you have an icon. It is Milo. The face that I can see. It is Milo. That, yeah, you can tell he's important. You're like, wait a second. This is the final captain. Oh. You know, compared to Gale and Braun, you don't really stand out amongst them, so I never really noticed. It's also probably because I'm a child. I mean, yeah, that too. <laughs> Stares yeah. at Riley, we might be able to organize a play date. Riley cocks his yeah. head. He, he's, he's literally younger than you are, Sig. He became a captain after you started attempting the trials. You, you know that meme where the woman is trying to understand, like, algebra? That's Sig yeah. right now. <laughs> Turn my token around. Sig, you are utterly, utterly useless. Like, seriously. You, you lost to a child. This is a child. Like I said, I never, I never fought this one. It doesn't matter. You are... This is a child. You beat the other two. You know, Dark Sir Soul, you're hard. really backpedaling on how much I liked you. <laughs> I thought humans are supposed to be of equal strength when of the same age. I'm confused. Uh, you see, Riley, people grow, people change. I don't understand how your interdimensional physiology works. But generally, humans need to get stronger as they age. Unlike oh. jellyfish, which are strong from birth. <laughs> oh. We are similar. Also, poppycock. I am only strong because I know things. There are people out there who are strong because of bullshit. I find it very strange how you humans live past birth if you're so weak. So, so uh, this, is where, <laughs> he, this is where... This is where he's like he patiently pat. waiting for you. Yeah. Captain Ulysses just pats Riley on the shoulder. This oh. is where parents come in. Ah. Oh yeah, those things. I've heard this from yeah. around, but I don't understand the significance. You see, parents help ensure that the child, an immature human, grows to age of maturity so they can be stronger. Hmm. They are completely, utterly useless. I, I mean, so. I would agree, considering I am quite literally jellyfish and I've never met my parents. Sig pipes up that. from the back. Yeah, me neither. I... okay, whatever. Milo, what's going on? <laughs> hey. So, all you have to do to move the trial is play with me and win. I'm gonna try and quarantine this Milo. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you now, Milo. it is the captain, it will not work. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get a 20. Alright, what are we playing? So what is this thing? game you wish us to play, boy? Follow me. Can you just move us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab all of you. One second. Oh, I spread it out. Except me. I, I survived. Oh, okay. Where am I? <laughs> I've fallen <laughs> into the void. <laughs> oh, oh, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> the void does not let go of its There we go. <laughs> I <feel> like <laughs> oh, I'm alive! You've escaped! Well, for some reason, I uh, thought he got past the boundary. That's weird. Uh, man, and I thought the bottom of the ocean was scary. So, he. he Milo sort of claps his hands and a. Uh, a glowing purple rectangle just sort of up here is like shooting sky beams up into the air. Oh. Area or some stupid thing like that. Alright. So, we're gonna play a nice friendly game of hide and seek slash tag. I... Very right. simple. I'm gonna give you all some seconds to spread out and hide yourself within this area. And then after that, I'm going to try and tag you. Hmm. If you can all evade my reach for a certain amount of time, then you win. Mm. Do we all have 
have to stay away, or only one of us has to make it out of your reach? That is generally the rules of tag. It's last man standing. Yes. He doesn't say which one he's saying yes to. Do we all win if one person stays on stays untagged? He gives you a sort of nonchalant shrug. Like, I just want to have a fun time. All right. Let's get started. Gallop in a ball. Okay. What are we given the count of? I'm going to try and quarantine Rally. I was going to say. <laughs> Initiative. Ah. That's, that's sure. another three. We are in sync, Dr. Sol. I critically fail my initiative. Such Has a... the curse spread to me as well? Such a battle-hardened pirate is not one to play child's games. No, a battle-hardened pirate would play child's games. <laughs> oh no, Milo has an initiative. I still he literally quarantine. has 20 more initiative than me. Can, can I still try and quarantine rally before this starts? I'm gonna say no. I wanna bullcrap this. I wanna bullcrap this. Oh, trust me, I'm going to try something to try and bullcrap this. I mean, I'll try. <laughs> Alright, well, Milo, start counting. Close your yeah. eyes and count Just to ten. Alright, hide and go seek music. Close your eyes and count to ten. Right when he closes his eyes and turn her, and he turns around, we'll just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an extremely. Okay. Um, he's gonna count to ten. I'm gonna be right back. I mean, if he is a child, he should be weak, then, right? Oh, that's not what was this bullshit from birth. Trust me. I mean, epithets throw that whole "childs are weak" thing out the window. Oh, what was the guy? What was, I don't even remember what the kid's name was, but I just said he was stupidly powerful. Like, this, this kid, this, I think it was older than that one. Like, seriously, though. There's really dumb powers. Like, talking about you, you literally can do, like, anyways. Me? Yes. Um... I don't remember. It's been a few decades since I've counted. How has it been decades since you've counted? You lose track of time, or I'm. Yeah, but how do you lose track of counting? You don't count. You know, it's a very strange dimension. You know, given Ooh. given jellyfish anatomy, I think Captain Ulysses is either two years old or like a thousand years old. <laughs> yeah, it's that hard to tell. Either of us. I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, based on jellyfish anatomy, I have jellyfish have no real memory, so he doesn't remember much. <laughs> like, it's like, how do you forget how to count if you asked Captain Ulysses to count? He probably couldn't do it. <laughs> Yeah, he can fire a cannon. Oh, yeah. I put a real-ass cannon in the Discord. I also updated the smoke one to be transparent. I'm gonna have to fix those beetles, too, because they're too small. But, eh. Yeah. <laughs> This jellyfish anatomy does not help in raising one's intelligence. <laughs> All right, I'm back. All right, Milo just begins counting, right? Yep. All right. So, another. It should be Sig's turn then. In that case. No, it's Rally's turn. Oh yeah, right. it would be mine. You need to sort this in thing. Yeah. There you go. All right. I'm going to. Beacon. Hmm. Hey, I have an idea. If you turn into smoke and then disperse, you could be everywhere and yet nowhere. 
Yeah, that's not that's really how my power is. works. I'm gonna move over here and build a smoke wall around Milo. <laughs> okay. I like where your thinking's at. Oh, wow. <laughs> That is he's the like closest we can come to a 20. <laughs> he's like, it feels like it got shady all of a sudden. Maybe there's clouds, then resumes counting. Yeah, there's. it's pretty cloudy out, kid. Continuous Do movement away from him. Have we decided Doctor to Saul. the child? Hey, Rally, I'm going to put you in a space. Rally is used to space. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, but I am already in a space. I don't need to move to a different space. Uh, you know, you I'm just can't argue with that logic. I'm perfectly fine in this space. <laughs> do you, do you want to move? <laughs> so that was my move action. I'm going to use my actual action to then move away. Oh gosh, I can't do this. Hmm. I'm... Yeah, that's my turn. Uh... Valet's turn. Maybe I shall try to hinder his move. I think that sounds like a solid option. Let me just copy. Rally is going to extend a palm, draw a tiny circle, and let the planes decide his fate. Oh no! <laughs> oh, a six. A, a six. six. You know, Does... you've been rolling. Uh, I'll say that's good enough to work. Just okay. might be wary of your next roll. <laughs> I'm very glad that we're finally initiating Chris's roll <laughs> because I need it. <laughs> okay, that's about right. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, what was? Let me consult the table of mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> that made us all. The plane! Did you just open a portal above my smokestack? I think oh, it was inside it? Probably, yeah. Just directly yeah. in Milo's face. Well, actually, no, I, I would say outside it for this purposes. You weren't okay. quite good enough to get inside it. You open a portal to the dimension of lost socks. Oh. Hmm. Hundreds oh, of socks to sort of pour out and start covering up this thing because I assume you didn't want to actually attack him. I just wanted to hinder him, yeah. Yeah, so the, the, the smoke stack is now covered in a pile of socks. It will Do take him forever to find the right pair. Success! They're all left socks. There is no right pair. Ha! Ah. That's very convenient for me, as I don't have left or right feet. Sig contemplates the concept of a left or right sock. <laughs> <laughs> Rally's just gonna one, two, three, four, five, move this way. What am I going to do? Uh, diagonal is one point five. I want to just go as far as I possibly can. Down. Captain Ulysses. I'm going to use my cannon to shoot myself off in, like, this general direction just to get as far away from him as possible. Okay. Oh. You know, I really enjoy the overuse of cannon tech. <laughs> Cannon power. Your cannon is a damaging ability too. Oh, oh no! Okay. <laughs> so Boom, first cannons. of all, I don't think he takes damage. <laughs> no, I don't take. I, I wouldn't take damage from that normally. <laughs> you know. Could he like? Grab well, yes, he would take damage from hitting yourself with the cannon normally. But that I'm is. loading myself in as the cannonball. <laughs> no, 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 the the ability it. just specifically fires a cannonball by default. So you're just launching like... yourself in the air with the momentum of a cannonball. Yes, you, you yeah. Yep. The way and I'm a the very point. light person seeing as I'm just a really big jellyfish. So, would you like to hear the good news or the bad news first? Let's go with the good news. 
Well, first of all, you do gain a proficiency for that. Yay, I am at 11. Second of all, um, basically pick any location within the square and you get launched to it. Okay. Since he was firing in my direction, could he pull me along? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll allow that. Yeah, I'm trying to get to, like, this space. Uh, yeah, it's a perfect arc. <laughs> That you somehow right. grab Rayleigh halfway through. Hmm. Yo, I'm really worried what the bad news is. <laughs> oh, I mean, the bad news is you take double the abilities to damage. Oh, oh good god. Can, can, but it you is know, reduced by your passive. That makes sense. Oh, oh two, uh, twelve, two, ten. Do I take oh. that damage? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then, like, because of the damage, I guess Captain Ulysses is just kind of like melt into a pile of tendrils <laughs> and sort of like hide in the bush a little bit. But... Yeah, Rally duck down, ducks down too, becomes translucent. And then mine was like, "All right, ready or not, here I come." Opens his eyes. Huh? There's all the stuff on me. Well, that's no good is also trapped in a smoke cage. <laughs> yeah, also that. We've created so an like, asylum out of socks and smoke. He's like, well, I guess I'll just try to do this. I, oh, it... Nothing happens. <laughs> you just hear the muffled... <laughs> yeah, see, this kid is it stronger than me. Is insecure about a kid being stronger than him. Row <laughs> insecurity. Okay, next up, Fig. I almost went to roll insecurity. <laughs> insecurity check, pass fail. No, I'm well, just gonna. Let my words fire you, Rally punches you a little. <laughs> Two, three, five. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna double move to Doctor Soul. Put me in your thing. That that weird thing you did with the chair. Just do it. I need to win. <laughs> Probably have to in the down. distance, you hear a muffled <laughs> phrasing from Captain Ulysses. <laughs> can you do it? Please. I can try. I, I can try. I have to squeeze down into like a small... It'd probably be pretty cramped. Or you could just become smoke. That'd yeah. probably help. All right, let's let's no, dual tech to put me in that extra dimensional space. All right, smoke, and I'm gonna uh, quarantine him. So you're con using smoke substitution with the quarantine, so that he becomes gaseous, and that's a three. I didn't well, you don't do well, but at least I'm quarantined. Yep, yep. You go into his special place. I burned a three for you, Rayleigh. Time to roll a one. I believe Captain Ulysses was called that oh, phrasing. Can, like, sit here. So that was one action. Um, so that was my move, and I'm just gonna kind of go in, like, behind this tree for my other one. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Pu -pu -pu. What's a good... Put it, like, inside. Alright, Rayleigh's turn. Did the music cut out for anyone else? Oh, no. Uh, yes, no, it, it did for me. The, 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 the song ended, is all. Ah. Uh, you can put back the hide and seek music. Whatever. Yep. Just put it on loop. Quick themes uh, don't get to change. loop, they're not that special. Oh, yeah. That was a good thing. Unless their crit music is super baller. <laughs> um, let's see. What can. Got it. Now I'm calling him Rayleigh. It's Rally. Rally. Rally to Rally. Captain Ulysses just goes, I suggest hiding. This is hide and seek. You just see like a bush full of tentacles just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Could 
Could I use my talent to just sit inside of a tree? Ye yes, but uh, because of the types of trees they are, you wouldn't be able to like entirely fit inside it, but it would let you hide a bit deeper in it than normally. Okay. I'd say it'd give him to a, a bonus to stealth, if anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do yeah. that. And nothing else. Not there, can just hide this bush. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Roll for it. Oh, roll for it? My best thing. Hey! Eight. God. It's passable. When I upload this, I'm gonna ask Quirth to see how many nat ones we rolled. <laughs> oh yeah, there's been a lot. It's been unfortunate. It's been very yeah. unfortunate. All right, uh, and that's all for Valley. So, Captain Ulysses, I'm going to eat one of my oranges. This is Please. almost <laughs> Starfinder. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot myself in the head. <laughs> you just ma you you just waste an orange. Damn it! This is just Starfinder, you guys. Or um, well, I, can I roll for a stealth check to like further blend with the bush I'm in? Man, yeah. why is that bush full of spaghetti? <laughs> A spaghetti bush. That's definitely a seven. Eh, it's I a, mean, it's okay. It's a palm it's, scab. It's, it's definitely a bush full of tentacles. Excuse Ma Milo's me, turn again. There's jellyfish in my bush. Milo's turn again, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna try the thing again." No. <laughs> it's sure it's another try the exact same thing. <laughs> there, there, there's another just like rustle and bump from inside it. <laughs> I think we're winning. I From think this is winning. <laughs> I sure am in an extra dimensional space right now. Can I hold my turn? <laughs> you can hold your turn and go whenever you get out of that space. Thank you. <laughs> which you can which you can technically attempt to break out of on your turn. I'm gonna stay in this. <laughs> Dr. Soul, your turn. How big are these bullshits, exactly? Uh, they're like... Tree-sized. What do you mean, the, um... These bushes. Oh. They're just like... Ankle-high. But because Captain Ulysses is a pile of jellyfish, he can just melt his way down into one. I'm gonna use... Can I use more abilities for this? Not really. Um, my ability's pretty useless for this. I'm just gonna try and climb this tree and hide in it. Uh, let's see your your tree climbing. It's all right. And hide, and then should I do a roll for a hide in tree? Now I'll, I'll say that was all one roll. Uh, very nice turn. Ah, it comes to me once again. What to do? Hmm. I will call upon the planes to decide my action. Oh dear lord. Uh, That's average. That is it's average. Not a complete failure. Do? Um, rally is just creating a plank kind of around I guess here since he's out of range to maybe create like a blockade or distraction. And that oh, roll okay. With the second one. With, with the portals of 18. Yeah. yeah. If only I rolled that before. So a, a hole opens up for a brief second. Hundreds of ghosts pour out into the sky and just leave. Hmm. That was, that's an 18 for a random plane. That that definitely won't cause any negative long-term repercussions. I think you've just created another campaign for someone. 
Yes, I believe it wasn't a wise decision to open up a portal to the ghost realm on International Ghost Day. You know, I, I think yes. I think I know of why. I also hope really none of them are mad at me for stealing their ghost cannons. Oh, that was you. I mean, where do you think I get these ghost cannons from? <laughs> Alright, um, it's Captain okay. Udyssey's turn. I'm going to try an orange again. I need to stay alive. You I need to, to heal. You will get three. Yeah, I'm not dead. I guess I'll try and continue my desperate attempts to become Bush. Become um, Bush. Sixteen! Oh. I am Bush. You, you think deeper into Bush. I am become Bush. Root. Milo's turn. I wonder what he's gonna try. Roll another five. <laughs> Track down those ghosts. Haha. -ha. You you hear a random popping noise. You don't really know where it is. Suddenly Milo's over here now. Oh, if only the ghost That's not good. He, he's gonna look around and see if he sees anything. Mm. Oh. oh look! Who's over here? Oh no! <laughs> Sig's turn, unless you're holding still. Uh, in the alternate dimension, I'm going to suggest something to Dr. Soul. You can't communicate with him from the other dimension. I mean, it's his realm. You can scream into the abyss. Uh, it's, it's sort of like a... I guess the best way to say it is, it's a bag of holding. Kind of is, yeah. Alright. I'm the, just the only gonna difference hold. is, you don't need to worry about it. Asphyxiation. I'm just gonna say, I hope you do what I want you to do, and leave it at that. <laughs> you just scream into the abyss. Nothing answers. Dr. Soul's turn. I'm holding my action. Okay. Um. Oh. Let me see. Can I just, like. I think it's kind of hard to do this, but I'm... Can I just, like, open and, and, and then tell him to do something? Um, if you want to converse your plan to him, I might be able to help with that. He, he, he probably have to either come... He probably have to be able to come out to, to do something. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go... You uh, basically put him on a demi-plane that's... that's exactly one tile wide. So I'm just gonna kinda, like... Uh, kind of just be up in this tree and hopefully try and put him... in... this tree. Sorry, one sec. You try and put him in this tree. So he is not next to Milo. So, roll for put him in the tree. Yeah, that's that's passable. Okay, so he's in this tree now, in this tree now. What's my move? Okay. Sick is Ow. expunged and face plants into a tree. Get <laughs> over ya! Yep. Cough. I'm gonna try and use cough contagion on Milo. Okay. You throw your diseased bombs at a child. I don't care. You are surprisingly decent at killing a child, you heartless monster. Okay. All right. You, you throw it at him. Can, can I take my turn? Yes, you, you may take your turn now. I watched wrestling once. I top rope off the tree onto Milo into the smoke cloud. Game of time! It's a game of time! Yeah, but you never said who was it! Oh, son of a... <laughs> you, you jump out of the tree and crash directly next to him. This Conveniently did... right into the smoke cloud. This did not yes, go directly as planned. Directly the smoke cloud. On the start of your next turn, you'll have to make a save or lose your turn due to coughing. Can I attempt to hit Milo? 
Was the oh I th I was treating that roll as a roll to both to jump out of the tree and hit him. That's fair. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna get messed up, guys. But right. I can't really out. help you. Yeah, Unfortunately, he is out of range of everything. But try to distract him, maybe. Again, I get you. Boost portals. Raleigh is going to very briefly um, manifest one of his hands in a physical plane and just shoot kind of like a flare, just a small burst of energy into the sky and hopefully attract um, Milo's attention so he doesn't tag sick. <laughs> okay, well, well, for distraction? Ah! That's yeah, exactly I mean, the range up, of my but, blast. You know, you, you forget to realize that there was just a cloud of smoke right now. He can't really see it. <laughs> hmm. Captain Ulysses. Mm. Continues to die in a puddle. Okay. Um, yeah. You can probably guess what I'm going to do. Oranges, please save my life. Uh, Not me. Man. I am at least alive now. And on the vein of distraction, All I'm right. going to try and use my cannon to like make like these bushes and trees rustle so we won't like focus on uh, Sig. Making the orange is, a, is a, an ability use. Uh, can I throw a rock? <laughs> sure. Milo has to roll a save, right? I'll pick up and throw a rock. Yes, Milo has to roll a save. It's a 14 to throw a rock at these trees and bushes. Did you throw a rock at trees and bushes? Well, that wasn't very helpful. I guess I'll just stay camoed in the bush. Right. Milo's turn. Rolling the save. Five. Five is like Milo's number. D does not save. So just stumbles around. Coughing mm. still. Sig's turn. Do I get a smoke bonus to, to this? Or am I uh, no, immune to it? No, it's not smoke. Damn. Alright, roll to save. That yeah, seems you, you good. Stay fine. Alright. Roll to I'm smack. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for smack. Actually, would you allow me to use smoking buddy and attack? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Alright. Then I'm gonna use smoking buddy and run. <laughs> Summoning smoking buddy. Oh. Grab smoke. Well, right. smoking Let buddy. me grab that. And I'm gonna book it. <laughs> I can see all of these characters as stupidly powerful people if they weren't so utterly useless. Yes. Now, question GM Can Smoking Buddy attack the turn he's summoned? Uh, no. Alright. That's all this I can a... do. Oh, this is Hearthstone mechanics, I guess? I'm trying to think of other. Magic the Gathering? Yeah. It uses D&D &D mechanics, sickness. you can't... <laughs> it uses D&D me mechanics, when someone enters combat, they can't enter combat and do something. They, are, they either enter or do something. Right. Uh, Dr. Thor. Um, so I haven't tried to put myself in the space before, right? Probably not. You were afraid that you get stuck there forever and never be able to get out. Rash reasonably so. This seems like a very easy way to kill your character. <laughs> character dies right here and now. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna... Just watch this be the one time he rolls a nat 20. 
<laughs> oh, I'm so tempted to do that. He uh, puts Milo in there. <laughs> Never opens it. <laughs> He's just trapped in there forever. Kidnaps a child. <laughs> That's there's one now, way. oddly, every time he opens the portal, there's free candy written on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I suggest um, you just run. I probably will have to do that. Um, Hop from yeah, tree to tree. So, uh, uh, how much move should I take to go down the tree? I mean, depends. How are you going down the tree? Are you jumping or climbing? I'm down. I probably like three. One, two, three. I'm double moving, so that means I now have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Away from the child, and yeah, that's my turn. Riley's done. Hmm. Entrusting my fate to the planes has not worked out as I had hoped. Drake, do you have like two hit points? Yeah, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you get something for getting an accurate guess? <laughs> Can I heal Rayleigh for one for guessing his <laughs> HP? No. There's no. stamina guessing. Whoever you guess this, the stamina correctly gets a single stamina. I just get the heal one. If it helps any, I feel very inspired at the moment. Um. Inspiration plus 20. <laughs> <laughs> um. Rally's. I'm gonna hitchhike off of Captain Ulysses' plan and shoot this very innocent bush with a blast of energy. The, the same bush the rock was thrown at? Yes, exactly the same. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to make it look like someone is in this bush. Twelve yeah, times what I usually roll. You shoot, you shoot your glowing beam of energy into the bush from the bush you are currently in. He just pokes out a finger and pew! Captain no, Ulysses. The, the good captain. <laughs> uh, here, I'm spending these oranges a lot faster than I thought I would, but this hearing how much help you have, I'm going to give you an orange. It's a solid Three stamina. Thank you. I feel more piratey than ever. You're getting close. <coughs> I guess I'll continue to further my increasing stealth check requirement with this bush. Oh, that was almost. You're getting really into the bush. You've become one with the bush. Bush. I'm trying to fusion dance with this bush, but I don't have any limbs. You know, I don't want to see what a bush fused with a jellyfish looks like. Uh, are you bush or are you fish? You um, Milo's turn. A jelly bush. He's like, he's like a smoke clone. That's no fun, and he's going to attack it. I feel like we're about to see why this kid's one of the captains. I mean. He takes out a baseball bat and smacks it. It's gone. Does it have knives in it? No, it, it's just a, it's. If you look at closely, you're pretty sure that's a plastic baseball bat. Then he's gonna run towards. Plastic weapon. He's gonna run towards Sig. One, two, three, four, five, six. All we have to do is get him to say "uncle" and that he can't find us, and then we win. He's right next to you, but he can't quite tag you yet. You know... You seem to be a lot faster than me. <laughs> so how about I just put you back in the cage? Yeah, you, you make a cage around him. He's like, not again! 
but he's this time he's gonna use an any time to try to counter it. Except he isn't. <laughs> Poor he Milo. Any time if he could. <laughs> Later, loser. I'm gonna go Later, up to this way. Loser. Drives off in smoke motorcycle. <laughs> Okay. Um. My turn, I guess, right? Yeah. You have a pot. I still have that. You do. You do still have the pot. It was actually making it really crowded for Sig. Um. Okay. Yeah. Doctor gonna... Soul, put the pot on the boy's head. Maybe he'll run on Skyrim logic, and he can't see you. Take it out. I think I'll just take it out. Take this it is out. not everybody as John. <laughs> Maybe you'll convince him that he's a plant. He should feel comfort in his natural environment. I mean, yeah. I'm the one who's closest to plants right now. I'm go here and try and just take out, like, take out the pot and just kind of hide in it. <laughs> He sets the pot on his head. If I can't see him, he can't see me. <laughs> Roll for ultimate pot defense. Roll for solid pot. Wait. Roll for that dank pot, bro. Metal Gear pot. <laughs> dun, 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 Hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for I a knew it would come surpass in handy. Metal Gear. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. A three, our most popular role. I think it's our most popular role is one or five. Yep. I'm pretty um, sure it's three, well, though. You now have a pot on your head. You're not sure if it's effective. Everyone else can see your feet sticking out from underneath it. <laughs> hey, I just crashed down. <laughs> you sure think you did? Oh, uh, Violet's then. How piratey is attacking someone behind? Quite piratey, especially if you're in a duel. You must win at all costs. Now, Rally, I want you to be conscious of the fact that if you roll another nat one, you might break my cage. <laughs> Would that dishearten you? Quite so. Uh, As we want. Yeah. Looks between the two. I'm willing to try. I can make it up if I do. Ross's fingers. <laughs> Rally's gonna... C crosses all fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and sneak a little blast at the... You know what? To just further use the energy of piratiness, I'm gonna use two of the stamina I just gained to open up a plane. <sighs> oh, oh my god! Yes! <laughs> uh, you get you first of all, you gain two stamina. I mean, two proficiency. I do. Because expert Moody. Probably doesn't. But I gained it. Wow. Okay, now I have to roll for plane. No, no luck. I mean, that's just the plane you get. I <laughs> mean... Also, also, we got a player crit theme. Oh, yeah. I can't believe Rally's luck just inversed. <laughs> Your GM. This is like... I'm harnessing the power of pirates. Am I a real pirate now? Yes, my boy. Where, oh, where, did, where did I put his, uh... What happened? I, I, I was, I... You've upgraded from cabin boy to bosun. Alright, so let's see. You're... Number two. Oh no! Oh no! Your number two roll, a single draft apple, drops out of the portal, which the target may immediately eat to regain stamina. Uh... You critted. 
so hmm. may i suggest that this is a giant apple that crushes yes. milo or an apple tree maybe <laughs> i was saying that this tree. apple oh, uh, the apple is a forbidden forbidden fruit and eating it will will restore him to full but it will also consume his next action that is a very large apple did you just bless him with the apple of knowledge <laughs> Wait, what like, was... he it's the forbidden the fruit. Now he'll have to he cover apple, himself up like, with leaves. He's he's just utterly riveted by eating this apple and just can't focus on anything else. Captain Ulysses. By the way, this would you... be a perfect opportunity to strike him if he was in range of my cannon. <laughs> did you move put my theme in? I think this should be the right theme unless I grabbed the wrong one off of Fambus. It is not. Oh, sorry. I mean, I enjoy it either way. It's very fitting. <laughs> yeah, it's this it's apple good. coming out of this portal. What can I do? Oh, I got this. Oh, he's also not in range. Uh, I don't want to lose this sweet bush cover, though. I just realized technically your luck didn't inverse. It stayed exactly the same. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move. Let's see how much in range one, two. <laughs> I can't believe okay, that you crit it, helped them. I'm going to move to... I'm going to move to here. And then I'm going to use Maroon on Milo to stop him from regaining stamina. Oh, wow. Um, shit. Please work. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, you seem to be standing a little bit too close. <laughs> Rally your your maroon failed, and instead you send him aid. Uh, not reinforced. Can I just shoot myself? now? <laughs> you send him aid. The healing grows stronger and faster, no. allowing him to regain his lost action. Uh, no. Milo has fast healing five for the rest of combat. Uh, <sighs> Captain Ulysses is going to lie down on the ground and cry. <laughs> Rolling for this? sadness. Uh, I can't I believe can't this. Oh, that's about right. <laughs> Rally face palms six times. Yes, Captain Ulysses is currently sort of like curled up underneath this tree as much as he can. Just trying to cover up the tears. There's just like those despair lines from anime where like the blue hue were just defeated. <laughs> yeah, since he doesn't technically have eyes or tear ducts. Sig looks over to the tree. Guys, we were winning. <laughs> Don't you think I know that? What's going on? What's going on? I can't see. <laughs> I don't feel very inspired anymore. My How do you think turn. I feel? <laughs> I should commit Sudoku after this. Uh, that would have been the perfect move, but no. It is Milo's turn. Fortunately, he still is in a cage. <laughs> he, he looks around at everyone. Looks at Dr. Soul. Looks at oh, yeah, Sig. I need to take the stamina for doing that as well. Come on, oh. Milo. Roll he's gonna, another he's five. gonna point a dig and roll a 19. It was almost a one! <laughs> he switches places with you. You are now in the one in the cage. Oh, oh no. Uh, and then he goes up and easily tags you. Can I swift action, uh, for <laughs> immediate action, dodge the tag? Yes. Son uh, of a definite one. <laughs> My god, this party. <laughs> I'm beginning to doubt our chances of succeeding. I... I'm just... <laughs> you know, if you hadn't... If you hadn't rolled to cry, he would have rolled a four. <laughs> and I would have rolled a 19. <laughs> I have to roll to cry. I have no tear ducts. I have to actually forcibly try to cry. Alright, what happens? I'm tagged. Uh, basically, 
Well, first of all, you know how your smoke thing lets you replace, try to replace yourself with smoke? Yes. Normally, uh, pick something else that, uh, roll a d4 to see what else you're replacing yourself with instead of smoke. Oh, good god, he's turning into another element. You accidentally replace yourself with Captain Ulysses. No! Oh, and you do it. so. <laughs> you you do so after you were tagged, but fortunately Captain Ulysses has not been tagged. Damn it. But he is in a cage. Now that you are tagged, you may try to help your allies, but you, you no longer you've been tagged. Uh... Sig is the only one that fails. <laughs> What do you mean, the only one who fails? Do you not remember my perfect combo move that failed spectacularly? No, I mean fails the exam. Oh, next person, right? Looks like you won't be coming, be coming a hunter. Uh, Dr. Soul. Oh. It's Riley's <laughs> turn. Oh, yeah. I accidentally skipped Dr. Soul. Oh. My head first. <laughs> All right. On my head, can I take that off, please? Yes, you can take it off. Sorry. Music stop again. Going to go. Uh. Uh. Where is it? Sorry. Um. The Ulysses. You can get in. You can fit in tiny spaces. Uh. Quarantine. Might as um, well try. Um, did, did you put the uh the bucket in it? Back in quarantine. Not put the pot back in it. Okay. Yeah. Captain Ulysses goes into quarantine. I am in the shadow realm. It, it's it's very comfortable here. It it's befitting your current dark mental state. Yes, the four. perfect match. Uh, four. Something, yeah, like that. Be here and go. Act him! Something. So you're just trying to move away? Yeah, Can you play sure. the oh, no, music I, oh. again? Yep. Uh, he, he's no longer Metal Gear. Uh, <laughs> Riley. I mean, I like to. I like to imagine he assembles the bucket. Someone just says, when he puts the thing on his head, someone's just like, "Truly, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear." Listen, Rally, you should just stay hidden. Cause now that I'm out of it, I'm gonna kick this kid's ass. Sig stands okay. up from his depression, <laughs> filled with Rally's rage. Rally's just like so defeated. <laughs> he just sinks back into the bird. He was in. I'm not even gonna take an action. I don't think he deserves it. <laughs> he doesn't deserve one. <laughs> if anything, freaking <laughs> Captain Ulysses doesn't deserve an action. <laughs> Captain Ulysses suckles an orange in the void. I, he's not even gonna do that. <laughs> <coughs> Milo's turn. Hmm. Just hold, Captain Ulysses will just hold his action. He's like, hmm, one of you out, but where did the rest of you go? Turns and looks de and immediately at uh, Dr. Soul. Don't touch me, kid. I'm infectious. <laughs> like, I got my, my shots this year. And he's going to try to climb up the tree and tag you. I really hope... <laughs> Imagine no, it's like Captain. It's like he has he has successfully tagged you. You are now out. Am I still untagged? Still untagged. Yes. Well, this is gonna be quite the conundrum. Out. Oh. All right, my turn. Sig is going to boop summon up. Nope. <sighs> I'm gonna begin no, to walk up summon. and down smash. 
So, yeah. Th this plague of low vaults. Yeah. Wait, plague you say? Doctor Soul. That's it. It's all the doctor's fault. <laughs> <laughs> You've infected us oh, with I this curse. Just got a coughing, uh, uh, coughing. Uh, the mall, uh, I'll just take the same square. Coughing cloud. Ah. Uh, we can't do anything. Yep. I think we should stop using the, uh, the just actual dice and use our character sheets. Maybe that'll change things. No. It, it, it won't. I mean, nice turn. Roll 20 is far too okay. sentient for that to help. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's grown beyond. Can I try and take Milo's hat? You may attempt to take his hat. I'm trying to, to quarantine his hat. You, you may attempt to do so. Oops, that did not work. That did not roll. <laughs> Passive, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> roll. Also roll. nothing. <laughs> Z, roll 20 has grown intelligent. It can see through your lies. Yeah, yeah, just, just, do, a no just do a normal roll. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Two ones, you die. <laughs> it's double ones. If you are an yeah. extra lucky kobold, um, you try to take his hat. Um, he he just grabs onto it and is like, no. What? What? Who are you? Captain Ulysses, in your special place. I didn't take my turn. Yeah, Riley. You skipped over Riley. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I probably wouldn't have done much anyway. We pronounced his name like seven different ways. <laughs> yeah. It's Rally. You know, th those foreign pronunciations. Rally. <laughs> uh, Never was uh, too good at French. He stares at all six of his palm, trying to think of anything he can do that won't result in giving the enemy the advantage. <laughs> And the only thing that comes to mind is something Sig attempted but failed. He wants to attempt to people's elbow this man. <laughs> Would I be able to jump off of Sig's back to get enough air to reach him? So you're, you're basically like doing a double jump onto him? Kind of? Ooh. If it helps, I can use quick jump to kind of jump into a portal above him. I, I would say you'd want to probably ask you to use quick jump for it. Okay. So Like so get a running start and then quick jump into the air essentially. He gets a running start, jumps. Rally. Just, just on the sixth shoulder. Like, I believe sorry, in please. you. <laughs> Kick this it's better kids. work or we're all gonna die. Ass. He is going to the teleport as far as he can in the air and raise all three L just as Sig did. Uh, it truly is the people's elbow with that solid <laughs> one stamina. Yeah. One, uh, you 20, say? 20, 20. Oh, no, that, was, <laughs> that was almost a two. <laughs> you landed the people's elbow. Yeah. Pirate elbow. Unfortunately, that counts as being tagged. Does it? It does in fact count as being tagged. You well, have touched him. How much damage do I do? Do I do damage? He, he takes some damage. Let me just okay. move the pile of people off of him. <laughs> he oh. takes about five. My plan seems to have backfired. I am now tagged. There is only one person left, and they are in an extra dimensional space. <laughs> Therefore, by the laws of tag, I cannot be tagged. <laughs> um, Milo's turn, As unless you want to do something, Captain Ulysses. Can I just try and pirate inspire myself to <laughs> get a bonus on rolls? You, you can 
try, it probably won't work. You've been I'm pretty demoralized. A, I'm going to sing a, a sea shanty to myself. Please, God. No. Oh, why would you waste can't my rose for it? the whimpering. <laughs> he tries to sing, but he just starts sobbing midway through. <laughs> just can't do anything. God, Yo. we suck. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Uh, I think you need to start giving us more proficiency for beating these things or we're gonna die. It doesn't matter if you can't roll. I don't care. I won't. Uh, also, also, not a single one of the opponents thus far has directly damaged you. Yeah, we're beating each other up. I think a 12 is the second highest thing I've rolled. Alright, it... Yeah. Oh, it's the third highest. Right, I it... rolled a, a 19, I think. It wasn't for like an actual thing. All right, it is now Milo's stone, and he's like, "Hmm. Oh no! It seems your your final member is under the effect of some sort of ability." And he's oh, gonna he try left. to do a thing. Like... I knew it. And the places are switched between Captain Ulysses and Sig. Sig? Did yes. Did he just trap me in the ghost zone? <laughs> yes, you have you have been dumped into the ghost zone and Captain Ulysses is now back in the plane of mortals. Oh, and he's like, unfortunately I have to get down from this tree. And he can get close to you, but he can't quite touch you. There's so many people in the way of crapping him. I would help you, but I don't have enough stamina to do it. Can you just grab onto him? Okay, it's Sig's turn. Definitely try that. I'm going to wait to have Dr. Soul eject me from the ghost zone. So I okay. can people's crowbar this kid in the fucking face. Right. Also, he doesn't seem even remotely beaten up. Yeah, you got that golden apple. <laughs> All okay. right. Do we agree that this happens and I get shot out? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fire you out as far as I can. Create an interdimensional cannon. I'll let you both roll for that as a duo tech. Roll oh, no. or shoot him out of five. I okay. think I did well enough on my you, you own. You sort of just pop out with like a plop, but then just you're like, look at Doctor Soul. You're like, useless. Jump out and like I, I kick off of him and rocket towards Milo. Yeah, so that's yeah, my... I'm. I'll, I'll give you a decent uh, weapon damage is five, right? I'll give you. I'll give you a solid like seven for that from height Question. advantage as well. Can I count as being concealed due to ghost zone? I'll give you concealment. Radical. So, back. Bonus three damage. <laughs> and damage. Milo still looks pretty much unfazed. Gonna now coughing contagion this area. Like, oh, these people. Oh no. These two, because I can't really do anything else. Oh no. It's not- doesn't feel damage unless I roll stupidly high. Rolls an at 20. I- you, you just sort of flub it. Riley, just grab I, I remember on the mentioning before I'm the game run. started that 5 is the ideal range for achieving absolutely nothing. I agree, Riley should just 6-arm grapple Milo. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do, just... do you like the 6-arm suplex? I was go. I was thinking that, but back. I don't want to do that because it doesn't fit how fucking depressed we are. <laughs> He's just gonna walk up from behind and manhandle him or attempt to. <sighs> yeah. You know that was almost a twenty. <laughs> almost. Um, only if we had Rick here. Only I mean, had. you're restraining him a little bit. It's not as good as it could be. Captain Ulysses, your turn. Oh god. 
How much stamina do I have? I'm Ooh. sorry, my inspiration seems to be working against me. Let's see, movement's five. Uh, I don't, don't want to risk it. Ah, screw it. You could pick a low, fucking shoot a cannon at Milo and me to like rat it's this dude. <laughs> I like that. I'll, I'll take I'll probably it. Just... I'll perish kill... burn. <laughs> it's okay. You've got what, like negative fifteen before you die. Yeah. All right, here we go. Cannon this biatch. You might want to step back, please. Nah, it's fine. It won't hurt me. No, you Blade. should just get as far away as possible, though. Wow. You're going for the cannon of fate? We're gonna this rat cannon it. of fate just kill everyone in this line. I'm holding him still so he can't move, but I will also take the damage. It's true. It hits. Um, Milo takes the full damage. It's six damage. Yep. Um, no matter what I take, I'm knocked out. Milo takes six damage. Rayleigh takes three. You're knocked into this tree, which promptly collapses, and Doctor Soul takes four. Some from the cannon, some from being in the tree that falls. <laughs> now, Captain Ulysses, run for your life. Can you <laughs> Where throw do you think us? I'm gonna go? <laughs> can you throw us a bone and have Milo take extra damage from tree? Yeah, I'll, I'll give Milo a little bit of extra damage. I'll give him like three extra. You're a small child you just dropped a tree on. Well. Gonna go one, two, three, nice four. Going, and then it, can I like try and dive into this bush to get camouflaged? Uh, yeah. Alright, rolling for uh, bush How much camo. stamina are you at? Uh, basically none. Hold on, let me take the. Oh, I never mind. Can I get a boost to that because I've been camouflaged as a bush for most of this game? <laughs> well, you see, unfortunately, that was a different type of bush. Don't tell me it's a thorn bush and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> You're not familiar with this species. Uh, no, you, you just sort of bump into it. It's denser than you expected, but slightly pillowy. Could I, fu could I bullshit this and say that I bounce off it into this bush, which I am familiar with? <laughs> Uh, sure, give me another roll. Please, we need this. <laughs> get a 20. Get a 20 and disappear, please. Oh. That's good. I mean, you get put in it. Ah, uh, yes. Back in your natural element. Ah, uh, yes. Grass. All jellyfish's greatest homes. I'm stealth, day off. I can imagine this to all of you guys. I just run up to the bush, bounce off, and then fall. Here. I can't believe that through our own means we've KO'd two of our teammates. <laughs> yep. It is Man. Milo's turn. He is under a tree. He's sort of pinned here. He's gonna try to do his typical move. No. <laughs> he switches places with Sig. No. Now you are under. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, you don't. Um, <laughs> big <Thanks>. slap him. <laughs> he tries to switch places with you, but you can't switch places with nothing. <laughs> Can I burn an extra couple stamina to be adjacent to him? Yes. Fucking... Actually, I'll give you that to you to you for free on a twenty. Oh, nice so I don't burn stamina. <laughs> We'll kill you, him. You spend the base cost, but you don't have to spend the extra. Alright. Appear um, behind him like He's this. going to try to, I guess, just normally free himself with his move then. Yes. It's not good enough. He in still pinned him in the tree. Sig's turn. Nothing personnel. Curb kid. stop him. <laughs> just fucking curb stop him. Do it. Uh, do I not get my theme and also proficiency? Oh yes, you do get that, don't you? Pry his fucking teeth out with your crowbar. <laughs> Smoke, buddy. Never uh, mind. Nope. <laughs> you, you, you got a bit caught up in how awesome you just were, so you just sort of... missed it. Wow. I'm so cool. 
<laughs> I'm going to just body block him. <laughs> That's my turn. Dr. Soul's turn. Dead. <laughs> oh, that's right. Valet is unconscious. Can I attempt to roll for Rigor Mortis? Oh, Rigor Mortis holding him? Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. You've got six arms, it might work. Yeah. Plus, he's also dead. Woo! <laughs> it's a roll. Man, you really. You have him in a literal death grip. Ah, finally, the bows are coming through. You've got him in a death grip, yeah. Under a tree. So, Captain Ulysses, what are you gonna do? Uh, let's see if I, I kinda wanna just further stealth bush. <laughs> go deeper. Careful, don't go too deep, lest you forever lose yourself to the bush. You'll be lost with Going deeper, Leo. Dimension. That's a nine. You probably <laughs> should have just ran. <laughs> Y you immerse yourself to a greater extent. Right, and then can I move stealthily through these bushes, maintaining my stealth at like half movement just to get like sort of around the tree? Yep. All right. <laughs> I am even more hidden. Milo's turn. He's gonna try it again. <laughs> I also keep forgetting he has an anytime thing as well, but oh well. He's going to try to switch places with no. Fig. No. <laughs> Do it! Bitch slap him! Curve stall him! Sucker punch him! Uppercut him! Can I get a free attack? <laughs> Milo tries to stand up and then Sig just kicks him in the chest. Yeah, I'll, 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 give, you, I'll give you a free attack off of that. No. And it is from a puff of smoke. It's not going to get extra damage though. I'm okay with this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna yeah. just proficiency as well. Oh yeah, proficiency. Yep. Jesus He's Christ! Really bad at all. All right. now. I'm gonna summon Smoke Buddy. He's gonna be here. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a sneak attack on it God. because you did turn into smoke. Oh, I get sneak attack. Okay. Also because Rally's holding him face down in the in yeah. the mud. Yeah. The mud. Alright, oh, I don't blood. summon smoke, buddy. <laughs> it's not really mud, it's just dirt and blood. Yeah. All skipped. Let me grab smoke, buddy. I'll I forgot you. to take damage for attempting to smoke, buddy. <laughs> Alright, my turn's over. Soul skip wrap. <laughs> yeah, let me That's grab the icon. At the end of my turn, can I free action speak to him? Oh wait, no, you didn't succeed. Um, but yes, you you may free action speak to him. Can, can this just be over? I'm not letting you get up. <laughs> I have my honor as a captain. He's like bleeding everywhere under a tree. There's like splint. There's like a branch pierced through his body. Roll the captain Ulysses just kind of whispers to him. To hold his arm behind his back, make him say uncle, then we win based on the rules of tag. Yeah, can I roll to intimidate him into saying uncle? I don't think so. You're sick. I am sick. You're very right. <laughs> yeah, the guy who just got two crits basically to just say fuck you. <laughs> I can't believe I got two fuck you crits. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm absorbing all of the negative energy. Yeah, we've had like nine natural ones or like... Yeah. Ulysses, you should probably I just keep running. I believe I've rolled eight or nine. Let's see. Hmm. Kinda wanna just... I don't know if I can really bullshit that enough to just teleport to further bushes. <laughs> I mean, you can try. I might as well just <laughs> roll to travel through the bush realm. You know what I suggest? Crossing through the bush <gasps> dimension! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, would it be enough to KO him by teleporting through the tree? <laughs> you leave this plane. 
You don't know where you are. But you know, he but can't I'm win now. Bush, he can't win. Everywhere. <laughs> Bushes everywhere. This isn't an ability. You literally, he literally can't win. <laughs> Though at the same time, you're not sure if you can ever come back. Sig Rally's looks behind energy. him. Did, did the jellyfish just enter the Fey realm? <laughs> Rally's energy rubbed off on him. And cross through realms. But Milo's like, well, uh, I guess you win. He gives, he gives you all. T he eventually frees himself. I assume you're no longer actively trying to stop him. No. This is He's my like... life's goal. <laughs> he he gives each of you a pin that is shaped like a bush. <laughs> he he holds up the fourth one for Captain Ulysses. It vanishes. Captain Ulysses obtains it somewhere. <laughs> you can, when you come back to consciousness, you see Sig is one piece crying. <laughs> He, he's, he's also going to heal heal the two unconscious people to exactly one. Uh. <coughs> oh, gosh, out. I Help. love the in honor of what used to be Lissy's crit theme. <laughs> Finally. Uh, so, so, <laughs> just is, is really anyone familiar good. with, um, <laughs> with, uh, the, the part of the one Justice League where the Flash enters the Speed Force. Flashpoint. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've entered, I've entered, I've entered the Bush the Force. Speed force. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Captain Ulysses has entered the Bush Force. But one of you can still sense his presence. You know who you are. I walk <laughs> over to Rally. <laughs> hey, you. You've been hanging out with him. I think he picked that up from you somehow. Oh, yes, Rally, you can still sense the presence of Captain Ulysses, but it's quickly <laughs> fading into the Did infinite bush. Did you just bush. pull him out of the... Uh, would you like to pull him out? Dr. Oh, Soul yeah, pulls him out of hammer space. <laughs> Do I have to use an ability or something? Um, well, f first of all, you probably have to go over to where he was to physically grab him. And yes, you or just any to bush. Think of an ability to use. I, I would think you can buy bush. your own habit for it. Um, I'm really walks any over. bush would work. I'm in he bush walks, space. He walks over where he well, he last saw you like over here somewhere. Oh no, you, you yeah, can you can sense like where he area. actually is. Okay. You can you know where he is like instinctively. Okay. He touches oh, well, he touches the bush with the palm. Channel some energy through and passes out again. <laughs> wait, wait, are you are you using your portal opening one? You could just use your talent. Oh, I thought you meant. I, okay, I thought you said I'd use an ability. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, you could try to use your ability too. Don't. Don't yeah, do it. Talent, I'm just gonna to use my talents time. to go ethereal, briefly fade into the bush dimension and pull him out. Yeah. Does anyone else want to assist to give him extra pulling power? Biotics. I will gonna... summon smoke, buddy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be back for the biotics. Well, that's a about right. A six. <laughs> Can I get a smoke, buddy? Rally face palms exactly two. I, I will grab you your smoke, buddy. Soul is just unconscious on the floor. Me and Smoke Bunny are gonna get behind oh, Rayleigh. Oh no, Dr. Soul got gi was given one health back by, um, Milo. Again? Because I spent that one stamina to heal. Yeah. He he'll keep doing it so that you can remain conscious. <laughs> me and Smoke Bunny are gonna just okay, grab give me a collective wall. <laughs> pull you, on you... Rayleigh. Uh, I'm just gonna roll to pull myself out of the bush realm. I rolled a two. Yeah. So oh, no. no! Oh no! Um. Okay. Oh uh. Really. You have to, guys. You have to collectively beat a one. You're 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 sinking oh. deeper. Um. You're gonna have to try again. Um. Really, I'll give you this with advantage. Okay. Thank you. Please oh, save right. me. I'm gonna collective roll for me okay, and everyone, Smoke Buddy. You've, you've got his hand. Everyone else give a roll to pull him out. Alright, that's me. Except Here's for Captain Smoke Ulysses, Buddy. he gets no roll. He's too deep in the bush. 
I can't even feel their presence. 17, 14, 17. That's more than enough to beat the rolls I spend to get in there. <laughs> As that's more than 40, which is a crit success and a crit failure. He returns. <laughs> Hold <laughs> out. He's like, I can never go that push again. I may never come back. Can I get, like, some crazy RP ability from this bush transformation? <laughs> Maybe. I want, <laughs> I want this to be a permanent staple. That is for another session. <laughs> yep, Captain, you just... I'm just, just going to put in description, touched by the bush plane. <laughs> you know, many people don't yeah. realize it, but the bush plane is actually one of the most dangerous planes. Yeah, <laughs> my my realm. It 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 lures you in with immense comfort. Rally oh, just goes into the court. I'm just quarantining Rally. He needs Bye. it. <laughs> F from what? What are you protecting him from? They're Himself. He's protecting them from <laughs> me and my negative energy. Protecting him from like a strong breeze that could kill him. <laughs> Gale, damn it! <laughs> yeah, just like a light breeze, he just falls over and dies. So R Rally's gone. He's like, mm. oh, he looks takes like comfort gone. in not being where he is in pain. Also, right now. you can attempt to resist this if you don't. No, nope, if you he's want. Submitting. Okay. He knows the situation. I'm going to spend an orange to heal myself. Good luck. I need this. Good enough. Perfectly average. You got seven oranges! Oh, I have five now. <laughs> uh, what do we get from that fight? Uh, you get a token, and you get... <gasps> two, Besides uh, disappointment. Two stamina. Or one proficiency. Proficiency all the way. Alright, I'm now at 20 proficiency. I'm at 13. No... Uh, wait, Siegfried, that, what's he, what do you have as your max stamina? 38. You should be at 4 proficient, four extra proficiency, so 21. Why should I be at 4 extra proficiency? You took proficiency from the fight with Gale, this fight, and you crit twice. Yeah, I started at 16. Oh, huh. I what? had you down at 17 for some reason. <laughs> That's weird. I guess I'll take I mean, if you want to give me an extra proficiency, I'm not going to argue. You shouldn't have um, argued. Is everyone taking proficiency? Yes. Sure. Yeah. You're insane. <laughs> um, Captain Ulysses need, needs more utility. <laughs> well, it's just like, yeah, let me just get to a nice even 32. Yeah. Captain Ulysses is like, oh boy, 13. I want to see my uh, first new ability. Upgrade. You know, I and might have taken well, something else. Because all of the challenges, you're all going to just restore to full stamina. Oh, thank oh, God. Thank Holy Mary, Mother of God. <laughs> but my Milo will heal you all to full. I think. The child is gone. He, he, oh, was just enjoy he was just enjoying giving you the option to knock yourselves out trying to save your companion who entered the bush dimension. You know what? Thanks, kid. I'm kid sorry I smacked you in the face with a crowbar. <laughs> he also has not yet healed himself. Uh, if I was a different character, I'd knock him out right now. Yeah, he, all right, he, he heals himself. So then Captain Ulysses was about to just tap him on the, like, the back of the neck to so, kill him. <laughs> Real, real quick, could everyone read off just, um, I'll, I'll ask you in order. Uh, Siegfried, what's your current max stamina and proficiency? Uh, 38, 20. Okay, Sol? Uh, 23 stamina, 17 proficiency. Alright. Um, Valet? Uh, 18 stamina, 32 proficiency. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this beast? Um, uh, Captain Ulysses? 28 stamina, 13 proficiency. Alright. So, 
I, I forgot to play the vi the victory theme. You will get abilities, but you'll get them at the next session, because this one is just about old. But you now have a chance to show your tokens to the Guardian and uh, as proof that you succeeded. I don't I take out like the badges. Succeeded. What? Before I leave, I just take a jar of I, I let, you know, the kid out. Allie. Hmm. I, do. I don't feel like we succeeded very much. It didn't happen. That's all that really matters. Uh... Anyways, I just gotta go, like, over here to this... Pull, takes out of a jar of bugs from somewhere. Okay. Go spread. Go. I don't no, gonna a I don't. single well, leaf from time. this bush as a reminder of my time in the bush dimension. <laughs> yep. You better be careful, you may be haunted by a bush spirit if you become too attached. So, if you all stand together for a second, Milo's gonna take you all back. Buddy. Uh, one sec. One second. Anyone? And Vaughn's gonna come out of the nearby woods to join you. Sig looks at Braun, tears in his eyes. I... I did it, Braun. I'm proud of you, my boy. I knew you had it in you. All you needed was literal assault. You're right. I have been going too kindly, following rules. <laughs> and you You're also becoming a true pirate. Oh yeah. Yes. Cle clearly, the correct moral is to learn from here. Yes. Yes. Everyone, add a pirate ranking to their character sheet, please. <laughs> pirate ranking. I feel like everything I did has negated any ranking I've received. Yes. Your current pirate ranking is cabin boy, exactly where you started. I think my current pirate ranking is first mate. Yep. I think my current pirate ranking is crazy. Cr crazy person we keep in the, in the jail cell. <laughs> I'm just gonna tack my ranking onto my class. It's just put in brackets pirate rank. So, here you all are. Uh, the, the Guardians all line up dramatically. <laughs> and then there's the, uh, the Guardian on, on her, um, definitely not condescending central pedestal type thing. Wait a minute. The smoking buddy not get to come with us? He doesn't have any badges. <laughs> oh, that's true. Sorry. Smoking buddy broke the rules. Don't worry, I'll make another one. I'll come back for you, my child. <laughs> I think the symmetry like, sm Smoking Buddy does like a thumbs up and just slowly blows away in the wind. Damn it, Gale. <laughs> <laughs> a single tear rolls down Sig's face. G Gale, Gale, actu Gale actually wasn't the source. It was just like, his time had come. I know, I just like cursing at Gale. Well, anyways, uh, Guardian, and he kneels before the Guardian. <laughs> I have succeeded in the challenges. Ah, uh, yes. I am quite proud of you, O oh child of this village. I see that you have grown and made companions along the way. Captain Ulysses takes off his pirate hat and does like a little bow before putting it back on his head. Oh god, did you see his head jiggle? Oh. It didn't really jiggle that much. He is still wearing like a bandana type thing on top of it, but it still did jiggle. You can see why he wears a hat and a bandana. I, I, everyone except for the guardian looks a little disconcerted by that.
Now, uh, what's now? What, what's going on now? So, you now have my blessing to leave this village. But first, I shall give you a token to take with you. Mm. Um, trinkets and baubles. You, you get basically just like a fancy looking gem type thing. Uh, if, if you've seen any of the streams where this has been used, basically think of it like a fate token type thing. Ah, uh, mm. I'm just adding guardian trinket to my inventory. Yeah. <laughs> Ulysses, it's, it's like, Ulysses it's receives a fake doubloon. You may use it one time to grant yourself a massive bonus to something. To an action. Do we all get one? No, only the child of the village. You'll just get the privilege of returning to society. Oh. That's unfortunate. You know... I think Rayleigh needs it. <laughs> I concur. You, you give the fate token to Rayleigh? I give him the fate token. Valid. <laughs> Thank you. I will protect it as best as I can. Drops it, it shatters into a million <laughs> pieces. <laughs> Oops. Oh, so, you know, nice and catchy, if you have any questions, I can do my best to answer them to best prepare you. Otherwise, you can be on your way. You are now free to leave this village. Yes. Unless you don't want to leave the village. Well, very good question. Do you have any oranges you could give me? Like, exactly five of them? Sure. <laughs> I regain five oranges. I mean, by now, it's also basically night, because you've been pretty much doing the challenges all day, so you'll probably be sleeping before you leave anyway. I still wanted to regain my oranges. Do you have standardized disease control? I am the disease control. That kind of is unsettling and very scary. I mean, I think I'm disease control. Sig at least... Doesn't really remember anyone ever having gotten sick in the village. Yeah, no, the the guardian protects us. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all I really need to know. Uh, I have one question. He, yes. He just kind of whispers to the guardian. Are are all outsiders like them? Gestures to the group. Um, well, despite, despite what Vaughn will tell you, probably not. Oh, I, ha I haven't traveled too far recently, but statistically, okay. they, they, they seem to be the exception rather than the rule. All right, that, okay. that's he ain't normal. reassuring. Explain, and I'm, most people say I'm crazy. We're, we're, we're Vaughn is just like, be careful out there, my lad. You don't my know, dad, my boy. The, these outsiders—they—they're—they're they're all crazy, completely nuts. Can't trust them. Don't know. I... Well, do, Bron. I'll miss you, you crazy bastard. Yes, and, and he gives you a rad-looking gauntlet. Oh hell yeah! Man, I'm just getting all the loot. <laughs> the guardian just sort of looks at you. It doesn't work. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> it's literally just a gauntlet. Oh, oh no, sorry, I was talking to the quarantine chair. Uh, what, what was the real question? What does the gauntlet do? Uh, I mean, as far as you can tell, it's just a really bad looking gauntlet. Nice, I'll be Gully from Night War. <laughs> Alright. Captain Ulysses kind of turns around. Guardian, perhaps a silver doubloon? Well, goodbye, Guardian. Goodbye, Milo, although I never really oh, knew no. you well. You, you you get gifts from literally every, every uh, Guardian. I deny Gale's <laughs> gift. <laughs> I take Gale's <laughs> gift out of his hands. Um, you, you get basically a fan. <laughs> like like oh, one man. of those like unfolding fans. Sweet, I yoink that. 
I sort of absorb it into my being. Does That's... that imply that Gale is your fan? Gale's just like, does a wink and double finger guns. I hate him. Captain Ulysses double finger guns back. Rally spits in. And like, you, Milo. <laughs> You said everyone had a thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Milo look looks around for a little bit. Comes out you with a with a a single stick of gum. Oh. I I hoped you were going to say antidepressant pills. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Milo gives you a gun. <laughs> <laughs> with one bullet. It's a pistol to take you, you out when you're removed. You know, I think this is actually more befitting for Ulysses, actually, <laughs> given his talk of gun violence against no. himself. No, he, uh, he doesn't give you a gun, he gives you gum. Okay. Oh. I, I was joking I was about, about to say ad yeah, why, why is a kid gonna give you a gun? Sorry. He gives you gum in the shape of a gun. It, it's right. just like a stick of gum. I like do something. Or the kid might just be broke. I give Gally the gum. Uh, Rally the gum. Oh, I have all kinds of gifts. Alright, as I leave, I just put up a middle finger to Gale. <laughs> Gale just smiles knowingly. I hate him. I'm gonna... Captain I'm gonna... Ulysses gives, like, a final bow and wink to the Guardian. And there's like a slight tip of the hat before leaving. Yeah, yeah. Gail's just like, stay breezy, my dude, Siggy. <laughs> Captain Ulysses finger guns on his way out, just you know as a final goodbye. I put on the gauntlet. <laughs> and it's like, it like breeze or something. Bye, right? Gail. That's good enough. <laughs> Oh, but it's a gauntlet. Vol with advantage. <gasps> At least 20. That's Please. not good enough. Uh, Damn it. You, you sock him a good one for, for, for damage. Uh, the, the, the gauntlet basically is the gauntlet of certain punch. Um, of certain punch. Basically, it does four damage, but always rolls with an advantage. Thanks, Bron. I'm gonna enjoy this one. All and right. you can find out the others when you use them. Well, mm. it, 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 like breeze or something like that, right? Absolutely not. Is it wind? I believe you already tried that. Still you know what? Actually, I gave Rayleigh the gym. I think it's only fair that Dr. Soul gets the gum. I can do some testing. This is fair. I have the fan. Alright. I think that's where we end tonight's session. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's where you end the session. Um, some of you might get new abilities before the start of next session. Who knows? Yes, I'll, I guess I'll just lift off pirate rankings. Riley is at is at preferred cabin boy. Sig, Sig is at the first mate, and Doctor Soul is at guy in cell. <laughs> I, I in the he... brig. Yeah, brig boy. He's in the brig. What, what what rank has he placed himself at? He remains at Captain Eternal. I mean. Yeah, it's in the name. I guess. He's one of he's one of the few people who's brought his pirate ranking into real life ranking. Yes. So now. So basically, um, unless you have some final role play you want to do, we can end it there. I'm I'm basically gonna end it by saying before we actually leave, we spend the night at Sig's house with his chain smoking grandmother where he most likely inherited his epithet. Yeah. 
Um, Jim is still in your house from when he went from when he went into it earlier. No, it's like we we don't quite get in the house. It's like Sig tries to open the door at the door. <laughs> no, it's not locked. He's allowed to get in. Besides, he's got a crowbar. Like his grandma just assumes that like Jim was Sig and just locked the door. I think, <laughs> I think Rally's gonna sleep on the roof and contemplate his existence in this world to maybe exhaust his unluckiness. No, that's, that's, that's just how you deepen it. <laughs> I mean, how many ones did you roll today collectively? I, I counted, I think it's nine or ten. Uh, I rolled a pretty good amount. 